1 FM and 1350 ESPN. Des Moines. Morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Welcome to this week's edition of the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan, brought to you in part by Three Rivers Boat and RV Storage. Hope everyone's having a great, great Saturday morning all across the good U.S. of A. Got a fun show for you today. We're going to be talking hunting military style. That's right. We got Jacob from uh, the Victory Drive Pod. And in the 8 o'clock hour, we're going to be talking with Jared Larson from Onyx. Onyx has got some new stuff turn by turn directions can you believe that yeah we're going to tell you about that at eight o'clock hour in between there i got some hunting and fishing stuff going on good morning scotty mueller down in oklahoma good to see you uh we got uh we got a pure whitetail a couple of pure whitetail packs to give away this morning as promised and we got a whole bunch well probably got some other stuff going on too so we'll get all that going for you andrew's producing the show if you want to call in and say hi you can do that 244-1350-244 1350 that's a 515 area code or you can follow us on the uh on the outdoor call radio app facebook page and check out the live stream brought to you by imperial rv centers good morning jeff good richard good morning my friend richard came over to the house yesterday and uh what's the matter i mean voicemail to jacob jacob yeah well i called him Hmm. Jacob, yeah, well, let me go. Let's see. Uh, let, let, let me tell you. Jacob, where you at, Jacob? Jacob Johnson. Hey, call the show. I We just called you. You're probably sleeping, man. These kids, man. We just this called you. This is the you. voice of great football, Chuck uh, Reed. Hear the Bulldogs uh, all see. season long right here. 5 2 4 4 Boy, what we got to do on to, to, for guests and stuff lately, I tell you. Uh, anyway, Richard came over and helped me with my live scope mount yesterday on my trolling motor. So thanks to Richard for doing that for me. I appreciate that. Uh, and I also want to say, I'll tell you, I got I met some guys over at Easter Lake. I was out there mapping out my, uh, or trying to get my uh, electronics working. And I, I finally got my electronics close. So that's good. Um, that was good. But I, had, I met a couple of people over there. Andrew Boyd, nice shirt. I need to come over Monday to drop off tiles, stickers. Yeah, yeah, I see that, Andrew Boyd. See that? I told you, buddy. I look like the. I, it's 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 tight. I got some shirts from Andrew, and I I I put them in the dryer too long. I look like the Stay Puff Marshmallow guy. <laughs> Hey, nothing wrong with that. Oh you know? man, I tell you, it's, it's just, a symbol of good things for a while. Well, it's like having a compression sleeve on, you know. But I, I tell you, Andrew, Andrew does a great job. Andrew does a great job. It, it, it fits nice. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah, the, the logos and everything. He did a great job over there. So, uh, let's see. Uh, I just, I just, uh, I just uh, is got to watch the phones in case he's calling. Yeah. So, well, here you know what? I'm just gonna call his butt. Hang on. Let me get on here. Yep. Yeah. I told him 705. Maybe that's the problem. Yeah. There's one ring. There's two rings. Boy, I tell you what, when I was in the military, I was up at 0430. I got more work done and by, by 430. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's not answering. All right, we'll be all right. Don't worry about it. Well, that's life. Show's brought to you in part by over there. Don't you love live radio? Show's brought to you in part by our good friends out at Three Rivers Boat and RV Storage in Carlisle. Morning, Tony. Good morning, Bob. How's it going? Bob, it's going good. I hope you're doing well, too. Thank you for tuning in this morning. 60 bucks a month gets you a free month when you pay for a year ahead of time. You get a 12 by 50 assigned spot. Secure gates 24-7. Security cameras. Discounts for multiple spots. Just give Tracy, Dick, or Danielle a call. At 515-822-1362, 515-822-1362, and they will get you covered. How about that? All right. Yabba-dabba-doo. 
<laughs> Yabba dabba do. You know, if I get one more AARP thing, I, 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 every time I get an AARP thing, I tear it up and throw it in the mail. I don't know about you guys, but I refuse to give in to the pressure of AARP. Morning, Rick. Is it because Good you're morning, now... Skippy Peterson, you right. gearhead man, you. Is it because you're now a grandpa? Shut up, Andrew. <laughs> I don't know. I've been getting AARP, AARP stuff for 12 years now. See, so yeah, because I just turned 60. You would think they would take the hint. After 12 years, they would save a tree and quit quit terrorizing me. Terrorizing. Good morning, Rick. Good to see you. Um, so, anyway. All right. I want to say good morning. I want to say good morning to Kurt and Kurt's buddy. I was over at Easter Lake yesterday. I had, uh, I had the Ginny Bell out. I guess that's what I'm calling her now. All the, right. The Ginny Bell. And uh, it was windy yesterday, man. I, it was really windy. So I was, uh, I, I was just guy. Guy pulls alongside of me. And goes, hey, man, that's a nice boat. And I said, well, thank you very much. I'm on my shakedown cruise here on Easter Lake, trying to get my electronics dialed in and trying to calibrate uh, elect, uh, a live scope graph and stuff when it's that windy is not a lot of fun. Good morning. Uh, laughing out loud. What about the discounts? What discounts? What discounts, Jeff? What are you talking about, Skippy? Well, Skippy Peterson in Wisconsin. You got to love Skippy. So I said, well, man, and I go, well, good to see you guys. I could catch any fish and stuff. And they said, no, nah, it's kind of windy. And I did mark a lot of fish over there, to be honest with you, though. Um, anyway, the guy's name was Kurt. And, he had, and uh, when uh, I was getting ready to leave, they were pulling out, actually. They were getting their boat loaded up. And I said, hey, would you guys mind giving me a hand just loading this real quick since it's so windy? And they were nice enough to do that, and I got an email yesterday. Here, I'll tell you exactly what the email said. I, this, I thought this was very, very nice. It says, uh, Dan, I've been watching and listening to your programs for years. It was a pleasure to finally meet you at the boat ramp today. If you ever want to wet a line or go shoot a bird, send me an email or give me a call. Kurt Brondhorst. Now, wasn't that nice? I thought that was very nice. Yeah. That was very good. I thought so. It's nice. You know, it's good to be. It's good to see your nice people. Yeah. Oh, AARP. You know what, Jeff? I, morning, Bill. I don't think that they have enough. What what discounts is AARP that I would need? You know, as long as I can get a discount on my gearhead bow, my gas bull, uh, bow strings, my uh, weeby knives, my flex fletch veins and stuff, and uh, game hide, and I task of boots, you know, my fishing stuff from Trica, I'm a happy man. So... Good morning, Pete the Donut Man. Pete the Donut Man Ariadne. I'm going to be drafting against him tonight at 7.30. Yeah. Yeah, tonight's the night that, oh, man. for that uh, Superflex deal. Yeah, that you're doing. Yeah, it's the Donut League. Yeah. And I didn't get invited. You did not. Yeah, and he had one spot open and he called and asked me. You know, some people just don't want to put up with your antics. My antics. Your antics. You know, my your, antics. your antics are Can horrible. Can you believe the gall on you right now? My what? antics. Your antics, man. My you, antics. You know, going around saying I'm the I'm the number one team. You know, for you know, people don't like that stuff, man. Oh man, well, I don't know. People, I'm in I, love I guess... with I'm in love with that trico rod. Taking it, uh, talking to them about another. There you go, Jeff. Jeff won our fishing trip to Minnesota. Yeah. From the Outdoor Call Radio app. Uh, if you don't have the app, you're missing out. You're, yeah, you're missing it. some good shows, and you're missing some great chances. Uh, who are you taking? I ain't telling you, Pete. You'll see at seven thirty. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you'll you get to see, uh, you hear some good stuff. You get some great deals. You got their super contest going on. It's free to download it. Uh, Curtis downloaded it yesterday. The down download. And hey, when I went to the VA, I had to go to the VA on what was it Wednesday or Thursday. And uh, thanks to Dr. Tyler, man, doing a great job on my Achilles. Um, actually had two of the two of the doctors and the nurses there download the app at the VA. So, yeah. Four more listeners for Andrew to, or, to mess up. Uh, antics. Antics. Antagonize. <laughs> antagonize. Yeah. So, I was going to talk to Jake about uh, the Victory Dry Pod, which you can hear every Friday night at 9.30, along with Working Class Bow Hunters. Uh, you know, Jacob, thank you for your service. 
I don't. I just talked to him yesterday. He said I'll be ready, and uh, something must have happened to him. So, but uh, hope he's okay. And you know, things happen sometimes. We'll see what's going on. Uh, good morning, Ryan Garrett. How you doing, buddy? We got a giant package from them yesterday. I pitched. I pitched it. I don't. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, only old people join. <laughs> there you go, Rick. Well, see, I'm not going to get into the political stuff. So, but uh, that 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 uh, morning, Daryl Adams in Oklahoma, my Bigfoot buddy. Good to see you, man. That show that I did the other day, I did a I I did a unknown file show on Wednesday with a gentleman out of Manitoba, and he had some actual he actually had some actual recordings of stuff that they were hearing at the cabin, and man, that show that show went viral, man. Uh, that's almost. Uh, the uh, and the the show with Dr. Meldrum that we did, that's almost got six thousand views on it already, which is awesome. Andrew could update his news on the app. Andrew, you need to update your news on the app. Tony says, "You're not doing that every week." No, I you, well, Tony says you you need to update. Well, I will get you know. To see, right to Tony, do you see what I have to deal with? Do you see that? Hey, I did get a uh, smoker. Joe Smelter is not going to be on the show today. Joe was in a bad wreck yesterday. Uh, he was at a he I, he was up in Grimes and he actually had a, a, a tractor trailer. It was either a tractor trailer or a cement trunk. It was one or the other, but hitting hit his truck and uh, totaled his truck and he's really sore. So everybody keep a keep a been the same for months. Uh, been the same for months. I'm, you guys have got me. I'm lost on your conversations online. So anyway, I'm glad Joe. I'm glad smoking Joe Smelter is okay. So anyway, all right. Uh, I was going to talk to Jacob a little bit, um, a little bit about getting ready for the fall. We're we're not that far away. If you have not been out there to see your stands, get out there and check your straps. Make sure you. I try to I try to change my safety straps on my stands every two years. Um, I leave my stands up all the time. I don't take them down. Some people are really good about taking them down. I. I, I'm in really good spots, and I really, I like to leave them where they're at, let the deer get used to them, and and then. But I'll go in there this time of year and flip uh, flip out the straps, and do a little if I need to do any trimming. The news has been the same. Oh, Jeff says the news has been the same too. Okay. Yeah, get away, get on him, boys, <laughs> get on him. You know, I don't know what. See, I don't ever check that stuff. I just load the shows. I I guess do I need to start checking you now? <laughs> yeah. Always. Yeah. So Andrew's got to do some news. Hey, do me a favor, seriously. If you if it's not new, pull it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, anyway, so uh, check your straps every two years. Make sure you replace them. Uh, also, your pull up ropes. You want to make sure that your pull up ropes are not dry rotted or or weathered. So you're pulling up your bow or your backpack and have it break, and then you got to climb back down and stuff. Replace your ropes every couple of years. Just a little quick safety tips on there. Uh, and we'll go from there. All right. Well, since Jacob, uh, make sure that there is no squirrel damage to the straps. Absolutely, Skippy. Boy, Skippy's on it this morning. Skippy's got a party button at Gearhead. Did you see that? I did not. Yeah, he was there working like at 2 in the morning. That guy's dedicated, man. He goes in there at 2 in the morning because he can't sleep and just starts building bows. Uh, That's what you want. And he's got a party button. Morning, Dale Griffin. Good I need to see. a party button. Yeah, we all need a party button. Yeah. What's up? You know, he rocks out, you know, Gracie. Grace yeah. Gracie's all happy. I'm just I'm just gonna go over there. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead, top of the show here, since Jacob uh is AWOL, absent without leave. Um I'm gonna take uh two four four thirteen fifty. If you haven't won in the last thirty days, I'm gonna give away some pure whitetail stuff. Like I as promised from last week. Give me a call, two four four thirteen fifty. And if you call the show, you can win just in time for deer season. Getting your scrapes out, and you can save it. Actually, you could use it for uh, using it on, uh, you know, when you go out to hunt. You could put it out there as a deer lure or get them to stop and sniff and give you an opportunity. Somebody is going to get, now you're going to want to save this one. Uh, when I talk to you, whoever wins, I'm going to say if you want something for the rut. Because this white lightning dust for the rut is where it's at. That stuff's awesome for the rut. That's an estrus lure. <coughs> Don't want to use that this time of year, though, okay? Straps are cheap. I replace mine every year. Now I hunt 100% on the ground for the past four years. See, that's another thing, too, Scotty. I, uh, with this Achilles tear, I'm gonna, I asked if I could hunt my ladder stands. 
And he said that's fine, but if my foot's bothering me, I'm going to be doing more ground hunting this year. I'm actually going to go out next week and build me. There's a there's a really good spot on the lease that I have um, that's on a, that's on a fence line that's right next to like three or four big pine or cedar trees. There are more cedar trees. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to build me a natural ground, ground blind right there. And then uh, if I need to, I can always put a, a hub style blind inside of that if we got like rainy weather or if it's going to be snowing or whatever. But uh, I, I, you know what, hunting off the ground can be a lot of fun. I enjoy doing that myself, actually. So uh, that's that's a good thing. But, uh, uh-oh, Larry McCoy's calling me. Yeah. Larry McCoy Radio, we're on the air. What's up? Well, here, call it. He'll answer. Okay. Hello? Uh, all right. Give him a holler. Yep. Larry McCoy is ambush calling this morning. Okay. Appreciate it. All right. There you go. Thank you. Bye. What was that? Had a caller say good. Uh, he liked your liked your conversation so far. Well, that's nice. Well, yeah. that's very nice. Uh, Larry said he's calling you. Okay. Larry McCoy, everybody. We got an ambush right, yeah. call from Larry McCoy. Can you believe that? That's exciting. That's uh, that's awesome. So respect the game, TV, hunting extraordinaire. Hey, we got that ugly buck contest starting next week, so you're gonna want to tune in on Wednesday on the Outdoor Call Radio app on the Wednesday Drive or Buck Talk Radio, whatever show I'm doing on Wednesday, and I will start letting you win if you have a chance to win on the uh, on the buck decoy. So someone's gonna win a Dave Smith full body buck decoy. I think those are like three, four hundred bucks. So, but it's mine. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll give Larry's away. Hey, Larry, can we give your buck decoy away since I still have it? That's right. You still do. You do still have it, don't you? I I do. Hey, I turn was, that phone on. I was looking for that thing. I was looking for that thing because I let Larry. Oh, out. Wow. I figured. I figured Dan would probably have it. Somehow you end up with a lot of that stuff, don't you? Well, you left it at the Deer Classic, and you made me go get it. Remember, you just never came and got it. I know, I just, I know, I was hoping you didn't remember that, but it was, <laughs> that was an epic fail on my, epic fail on my part. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. What are you doing? <laughs> I am um, actually getting ready to really go put some feet in the ground. Yeah, I thought you were doing, uh, I thought you were doing, you and Ryan were doing uh, video and stuff this morning. Yeah, we're going to do some of that too, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a full day of of uh, putting food in the ground and getting ready for fall, that's for sure. Yeah. So. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> I, I better not. I mean, you got your antlers trimmed out. You got your stuff kind of specialty done, so uh, you'll know if I gave yours away. I better not do that. <laughs> My, uh, oh, yeah. I, I got mine look like. He looks like a fighter. Remember, yeah. I snipped off a couple times on his antlers. Yeah, no, <laughs> you, I like the way you did that, too, so. I don't know. I talked to I talked to uh, uh, is it Scott. It's Scott over at DSD, right? Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, I, he's supposed to be sending a buck decoy because I told him I was going to give mine away, and then they've got those new doe decoys. You know, Larry. I don't know, man. I I I might just use that buck that doe decoy that we used in Kansas last year. I mean, that thing worked like a. I mean, how many how many different bucks did we come in and have scent check her twenty something? Oh, oh yeah. Over the over the course of the week, it was yeah, it was pretty amazing. There's no doubt, and and um, using it in, you, can, you can use it by itself or in conjunction with the, with the buck. That's what's so cool about that. But it's you know, it's definitely effective. It's it's I guess it just depends on the you know the deer. But the one thing about a doe decoy, they're not uh, you know it's not showing aggression right. or anything. So well, she's you know, kind of sim- she's, she's semi squatted too, right? Larry Mac, yeah, I'm here. Yep. Uh, yeah, she's kind of semi squatted, right? Yeah, she's got a little bit of squat to her, though. But and it's, so it's nothing that's really going to be, you know, I guess, uh, you know, invasive on any other deer. They more and just come and check her out. And like during the peak of the rut, she is in a position where it looks like she's ready to breed. So, right. so you know, I mean, that buck we took last year in Kansas. I mean, he came a long way. He did not want any any other. Uh, but going near that decoy. 
Yeah, now, that's and, for sure. and they got a lay down uh, Doty Koi now this this year too that you can use, right? Yeah, yeah, they're gonna have a uh, they got Better? a dough. Uh, yep, which is which I think is gonna be really really cool in the right place, you know, where it's visible because you know if if anybody's been out and they see a deer bedded down and another deer comes up this, I mean, almost every single time they go up and check a bedded deer. Uh, so it's just a matter of making it visible and. and you know, for the right setup, but I do think it's going to be super effective too, on um, you know, and really up your odds of success. Well, I know you were kind enough to help me in film last year, and I know we I never seen anything like it. I mean, them even the does were coming up feeding next to her, and I mean that 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 doe decoy was yeah. money. That's so. the that's the other thing that was so intriguing about it because I know one one thing too when it comes to decoy hunting with any decoy, especially uh, whether it's a buck or a doe is. It's a, it is a level of commitment because the most most of the reasons why people they they always want to do it, but it's it's one of those things I don't want to blow my hunt yeah. or it's just another thing to carry, uh, and and that type of stuff. Which and I'm you know I'm not gonna. There's I've had a lot of blown hunts, you know, in the past because it, then I started to, to really kind of hone in on why the deer were kind of acting like they were, and sometimes you're gonna have just a deer that's just you know. He's a little bit more on edge. You don't know if he just got bumped, you know, on a neighboring property or, or, or whatever. So he might be a little bit, you know, on edge or, or something. But most of the cases, if a deer in their own element, I, they do, uh, you know, yeah. just kind of continue doing what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, I, I really haven't had really a lot of issues. I mean, they're either coming in set checking or, they'll, you know, they come in to see what's going on. But um, like I said, that... that Doe decoy was the first time I had a chance to sit with it. I know you and Philip have been using it because you got the prototypes. But uh, I mean, Philip even said he, he was he was shocked how many deer he had come in and checked that out. He could have shot. Of course, that's yeah, that's always Philip, isn't it? Well, better not yeah. take that deer. That deer is only five years old. He, I, if, <laughs> he if he's not six and a quarter, I just can't take that opportunity. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't more than one marcher left. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never seen a guy let let deer. I mean, I'm everybody. What are you doing, Philip? We he gets back to the lodge and Larry just shakes his head and walks off. <laughs> oh, but hey, you can't argue with success. I guess yeah. he's, he's been on him. He continues to get it done. So, well, he's one of the best bow hunters I've ever been fortunate enough to call my friend. I mean, I you know you you are in there and. Uh, I learn a lot from both of you, that's for sure. But, you know, hey, uh, pure whitetail. I'm giving away some pure whitetail stuff today. I got some trance. I got some bedded up. I got some white lightning. And, uh, you know, that's another tip that you and Philip helped me with uh, when we started uh, hanging out together more uh, with uh, using that dust inside our deer decoys. And, uh, Larry, it's just a flat-out game changer. I mean, that really does help. Oh, there's, there's, there's absolutely no doubt. Since... Since we started using that inside there, the you know the positive encounters have definitely increased, uh, and you know it's one of those things too where you can put like a dust, for instance, tarsal dust or premium buck dust, yeah, inside that uh, you know inside the cavity of, the, of you know the, the decoy, and then also you could take like bed it up or something like that around the kind of the perimeter of the decoy, and. It's uh, it just then it just smells like a deer. It smells like deer been there. It smells like and it smells like a deer. I mean, we watched it how many times in Kansas with the doe decoy, with the buck decoy, and everything. They just get around, and you can see that they really don't get nervous. They just walk around, check it out, and then yeah. they'll just walk up to it. Yeah, if you go to Respect the Game TV's YouTube page, folks, you can watch that Kansas hunt from last year. Larry's on. Larry, you get to watch Larry, and then you get to watch Larry drag mine out. Uh, it was, yeah. Hey, John. Good morning, I John. Pull you up that ditch. You had to I pull me. It, it, it rained so much. I, we hunted in the the rain for like three or four days, and the stuff was so greasy. Um, I could not. I couldn't get up the bank, and Larry actually literally had to pull me and the deer up the up the bank. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I don't know what I mean, but you know, some, some guy just kept the record button on. So yeah. Might be a little shenanigans. Well. <laughs> Hey, here's the here's the thing that if it, it didn't it didn't make the show, but I shot that deer and that deer turned right as I shot and and he was he was hurting bad. He was you could his shoulder caved and and anyway we sat there for a while and Larry goes I'm gonna go look and I said you go ahead because I was kind of disgusted because 
I had that I had that pin right on that deer's shoulder. I mean, I was it was mon it was money. It was twenty yards right at the decoy. Anyway, Larry comes back and goes, "Yeah, I, it ain't good. I don't. It ain't gonna be good." He's by he's got his iPhone recording in his bino harness. And I, I was, I, and I, how many days did I sit, did I sit straight? Like 14, 13, 14? Yeah, it, it was, it was a lot. It was, it was kind of dirty on my day, but it all yeah. worked out. And, yeah, and then he, and he just starts, and, and, and then I said, oh, you're, you're, you're giving, you, you found him, didn't you, or whatever. But I was cussing. I, I have to admit, I, I was letting some metaphors go, but, uh, yeah, that was awesome. That's why man. I didn't make the show. Yeah. That's why I didn't make the show. <laughs> well, I mean, you sit out there for 12 hours a day for 12, 14 hours a day. It wears on you, man. Oh, I, I know. It was, uh, it was. And part of the reason, too, I thought, well, I'm going to, I'm going to game pretty good. And, uh, oh, he yeah, got me. I got back and I shut down. <laughs> I shut down. I'll tell you right now, though, you, that was, that was about as excited. You went from the high, the lowest lows to the highest the highs really quick. <laughs> oh yeah, I was pumped, man. That was an epic hunt out there, man. It was crazy. So, yeah, it was nuts. All right, hey, tell everybody where they can. Hey, thank you for calling in, buddy. I appreciate you doing that. Yeah, you bet. It's been a while. It's been a while, and I'm just getting ready to go to the farm. I thought I'm gonna call and check in on old Dano. Well, you know, you're always welcome. You and you and Rye. So, and then. uh we're going to get ready to start filming RTG again here pretty quick. Yep. Yep. Well, like I said, we're going to have a whole day of, uh, we're going to be putting some food plots in, some stuff like that, getting some seed in the ground, and then just doing a little bit of filming and, and stuff. Stuff that will be going on our social media and a lot of other stuff. So, so yeah. Yep. Go check out the YouTube right. page. I'm, I'm getting geared up, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. When do you start hunting? You going to Kentucky first or what? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Going to Kentucky first. Uh, Kentucky. Uh, which actually they moved their season back a week, so it'll be like uh, September sixth or something. Seventh, yeah. seventh, I think is when it opens. <clears throat> Pete the Donut. Uh, that's when they'll kick off for me. Yeah, Pete the Donut says hi. You can tell Pete hi for him. Hey, Pete. <laughs> yeah, he hears you. He, you're, you. They hear you on the live yeah. stream. Yeah, yeah. Pete, Pete, yep. Pete, Pete the Pete the Donut Ariati. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Larry yeah. Mac. You guys Old be Pete. good. Let me know when you're coming up. All right, we'll do, buddy. We'll All right, th thank Take you, Larry. There, there he goes, Larry McCoy. Really fine feller right there. Good fine feller. Did we get a winner? No, not yet. We just had someone uh, call in and say, hey, appreciate uh, talking about harnesses, talking about all that stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we need to talk about safety. Uh, yeah. yeah safe. Number one hunting-related accident in North America is what? I I'll tell you what. That's, your pr that's the question for... To get your pure whitetail stuff. 244-1350. 244-1350. Just make sure you haven't won in the last 30 days. What's the number one related hunting accident in North America? And we just talked about we just talked about it. So uh, we'll be right back on 1350 ESPN. If you're into cooking wild What's up, grilling, everybody? You probably love to transform your wild game into delicious meals or great tasting nice snacks. Yeah. High Mountain Seasonings has everything you need to help you make some of the That's best a gear head hat, sauces, skip. snack sticks, or jerky around. Yeah, High Mountain so Seasonings good. offers simple, easy-to-use kits that are used at home, including three new low-sodium blends that will produce wild game snacks your family will love. You. High me. Mountain Seasonings yeah. makes grilling steaks or smoking your favorite meats you taste even better with their specialty oh, spices, like, marinades, and oh, rubs what? for deer, elk, or your yeah, favorite steaks. Yeah. High Mountain has also just introduced taco that. and fajita blends yeah, that are right. spicing up kitchens and grills all across the country. Yeah, Look for good. High Mountain Seasonings yeah, at Sportsman's apologies. Warehouse or at your favorite yeah, grilling retailer. Or go to HIMTNJerky.com. Hey. What's up, Gary Pack? To find the closest store near you. High Mountain Good morning, Mom. Boy, I'm going to miss your cooking this year, Connie. Grilling meats taste great. Uh, In the mood for a great family treat yeah, or a special gift idea, pop on over to the Lot of Pop store located at 647 South Ankeny Boulevard in Ankeny. What, what, what That's where you'll find one the dirty, fresh flavors that. of the most delicious Iowa grown popcorn in the central Iowa area. Number you'll love the fresh the pop flavors like caramel, caramel, caramel apple, kettle corn, jalapeno cheddar, cheddar cheese, birthday cake, or patriotic mix, just to name a few. You'll find something for everyone at Lot of Pop in Ankeny. Harley and his crew can help you pick out the perfect variety pack, tin, or gift package. Lot of Pop. 
Pop has everything you'll need from ready to eat popcorn to all the fixings to make great popcorn at any event. Everyone loves popcorn, especially when it's from Lot of Pop. It's the same great popcorn you'll find at the Iowa State Games, locally grown and popped to perfection. Lot of Pop can help with any special occasion, corporate events, and special fundraising for your school. For more information, what's everybody doing today? Five two six two thirty two forty three or go online lotofop.com. Lotofop, great tasting popcorn from Iowa since nineteen sixty nine. When it comes to graphic design, you want to work with someone that can take your ideas and bring them to life. So when you need help promoting your business or special event, Gary, you got bear season pretty quick, buddy. Three more have you weeks. Heard about Boyd Creative Print Shop? They have over thirty years. Well, Gary's going to be bear hunting, buddy. Like you into action. Boy Creative Print Shop can help with custom graphic design on screen. Oh, Richard's going fishing. Hi, Carrie. Good to they see you, kiddo. Designs on bags, decals, and stickers, and vinyl wraps from boats to vehicles to get your message out. This will help you inform and educate folks about your event or business while doing it with a creative look. Boyd Creative Print Shop has hundreds of excellent customer reviews and will provide the same level of service to you when you need them. For more information to get your design started, please call Chantel or Andrew at 515-478-5776. That's 515-478-5776. Or check them out online or on social media or at BoydCreativePrintShop.com. Strings and cables make or break your bow setup. You want a string and cable that is not stretch and is reliable, so when your bow is tuned, it stays that way. You need gas bow strings. They're stable, consistent, oh, and reliable strings and cables that come with a one-year warranty. Gas bow strings made in Clay City, Kentucky, and family operated. So next time you order a new bow or replace your strings and cables, try gas bow strings and shoot with confidence. Check them out at your local dealer or online at gasbowstrings.com. In these times when a lot of us are working from home, yeah. it's even more important like to make that, sure yeah. your home... We should have my little locker stuff here about... But now is a great time to call the probably three or four weeks. People asked me the other day if we're going to have a Milo certificate again, and we will. Our just, house too dry it's either going to be for a free processing, or it's going to be for like fifty dollars uh, gift card for right like your sausage or deer sticks or something like that to get processed. So it'll be, I don't know which one they're going with. This year, it'll be soon. Over seventy years. They offer 24-hour service and programs like the Peace of Mind Plan for less than $15 a month. So if you want more time on the water or in the woods this year, please call the folks at Wyckoff Heating and Cooling for any of your home or business heating and cooling needs. One call to Wyckoff Heating and Cooling will bring you peace of mind under your roof every day. Hi, this is Dr. Don Gilbert from New Life Counseling Services with offices in West Des Moines and Ankeny, Iowa. I know things can be tough in the world today. I see it every day. People dealing with yeah, absolutely, issues, Scott. Parenting struggles, anxiety, Everybody's start depression, getting... or folks just looking We're not that far away from deer season. It's getting you find good. Struggling and are looking for someone to help you find answers to a better relationship. And deer are going to start rubbing that velvet off here distress. in about three weeks. Please consider calling me at New Life. It's today, the old tenth. Straightforward approach to helping you to get yeah, through about the three weeks. Stress they'll start. We'll start finding some good rubs. And your work. The staff at New Life offer one-on-one -on -one sessions that get right Don to the heart of the matter. You know, I haven't talked to Doctor Don. I dropped off this stuff for his golf tournament, and he didn't call me back. When you're looking for someone to listen to, we're here. Probably just busy. Consider calling us for a confidential appointment at New Life. Five one five two two five four zero zero six in West Des Moines. Or 964-5003 in Ankeny. Also find us 24-7 at newlifecounseling.com. We are here to help you when you need us. You're listening to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. Oh, that's all right, Jeff. Those are easy to do. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. Hey, I got a thing from the Iowa Jeep Club. They're going to have their 15th annual Iowa Jeep show. Uh, September 28th and 29th. I should have tickets for that coming, too, if you want to go. I'll get you tickets. It's going to be at Oak Ridge MX Park near Mus Meskwaki, Iowa, this year. Uh, they moved it. And Carl Chevrolet uh, is the official sponsor of that. So how about that? Carl, uh, Carl, congratulations. We like Carl. They always do a great job for us. And uh, that's awesome. Carl of Marshalltown and the, the whole Carl Chevrolet group. Uh, are helping them do that. If you like to do Jeeps, uh, go see Jeeps in action or like to run obstacle courses, 
this is going to be a deal for you. Uh, they're going to have vendor displays, camping uh, vendors. Uh, there's anything Jeep related uh, from going out four wheeling, you name it. They're going to have it there at the uh, Iowa Jeep Club uh, big show uh, four by four event. And that's going to be September 28th and 29th at the expansive Oak Ridge MX Park near Meskwaki, Iowa. So go check that out. That's going to be awesome. How about that? How about that, young man? 244-1350. 244-1350. You want to call in and say hi? You got some questions? Let me know. Hi, Don Warren. Good to see you in PA, buddy. Good to see you there. All right. It's, uh, secret winner uh, on the app contest is Lane Swanson of Council Bluffs, Iowa. Woo! Congratulations, Lane. Lane got himself a dozen arrows. How about that, one, Lane? They'll be heading your way, buddy. That's exciting. All you got to do is listen to the app Monday through Friday and send me a screenshot. I had 49, 49 or 50, was it, it was 59, I'm sorry, 59 emails this week. So you figure we're hitting, you know, between ten and 12,000 people a week on average. Uh, you know, that's not a lot of emails. So you're ch you keep doing it every week. Your chances of winning are going to, you're going to win. I mean, that's just the way it is. JLM still has that big sale going on, $50, anything off $1,000 or $1,000 off. I'm sorry, anything over $1,000, it's $100 off. Go check out, talk to Dallas. Ray's Marine still has big rebates going on in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Go see my buddy Eric. I talked to Kurt about that. He was looking at a new boat. I told him to go see Eric up at Ray's Marine. He saved me almost $6,000 on my boat uh, compared to where I was looking at around here. So go check out Air, uh, Ray's Marine in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. If you can save five or six grand, that's worth a seven-hour drive, isn't it? It is to me. That's a lot of Big Macs. So... Game Hide's also got some stuff, 45% uh, off sale going on right now. Go to GameHide.com and check out the Limitic. I haven't had a tick or a trigger in a long time, and that's because of the Limitic. Go check it out. I just sent some of that to my buddy. Hi, Fishing Dave. I just sent uh, some of that to my buddy, Mr. Todd Rupert at Rupert's Roost and Peace Turkey Calls because he's such a fine feller out there. Fine feller. Yes, he is. He is a fine feller. Top notch. Yeah, you want to give? Let's give away some more of that pure whitetail. You want to call in if you haven't won in the last thirty days. Two four four thirteen fifty. Two four four thirteen fifty. In what state did it take me fourteen days to shoot a deer last year? And I actually had to extend my trip by a week. Jenny was beside herself because her beautiful, sweet, huggable husband was gone another seven days. What state was I marooned at last year? If you know the answer to that, I'll get you call Andrew and just tell him, and uh, we'll give you all some of this pure whitetail product that you can use for not only making scrapes, mock scrapes right now, but you can save it for deer season because deer season's right around the corner. Let's do that, and then we'll do something else for next hour. Come on, light him up. Two, four. He's got his little Sharpie already. Got to keep him busy. Uh, let me do the fishing reports uh, while we're doing that. It's brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse, the Bait Caddy. I uh, also want to thank uh, Bob at the Bait Caddy. Bob, uh, we're going to be promoting him through 2025. If you haven't got yourself a Bait Caddy, that is one of the most high-tech, durable bait buckets for minnows, leeches, uh, pretty much anything you want to separate in your live well out. or you know, And it's not only good for open fishing, water fishing, it's good for ice fishing too. Uh, built in Minnesota, built to last. Go check them out, baitcaddy.com. All right, uh, Blackhawk Lake, water temperatures in the upper 70s. Black crappie bites fair, gills are fair. Night crawlers under a bobber, fishing from shore is the best bite. Largemouth bass are fair, walleye are slow. Brushy Creek, what's the matter? We need to take a break? Um, yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll finish uh, fishing reports when we come back. Call me, 244-1350. 244-1350, call me. We'll be right back. Going fishing is something we look forward to all week. We all want to be better at it and use the best gear available. Gear that will help us feel the bite better and give superb casting performance. Well, when it comes to sensitivity and longer cast, Trica yeah. has people yeah. talking. Trica about... rods are scientifically wow. proven to be more sensitive with their unique weave design as much as two times as sensitive as other costly rod brands. Trica casting Morning, Larry. How you been, buddy? I ain't heard from you in a while. Hope you're doing okay. In the strike zone 
longer. Trica knows you work hard for your money, and they want to give you a rod that will cast longer and let you feel the bite better there. without putting the bite there. on your wallet. Trica rods are significantly less than other high-end rods available. They offer a one-year, no-questions-asked guarantee. Trica rods can be returned for any reason up to one year. A lot of people are at the they fair also come with a limited right. lifetime uh, warranty. If you want to see what has anglers talking, go check out Trika Rods at Trika.com. That's T R I K A. That's my George com. Custer look. Hello, this is Dave you like from that? ALM Shooter Supply. Yeah, sometimes I get tired of that. What is that, goatee? I get tired of that beard. I, find the right I like tri That's my. This is my bow hunting look. And I'm ready to go shoot something. Self defense to shooting enthusiasts, as well as folks who like to hunt. Well, well we have thank recently you. expanded our store to better serve the needs. <laughs> We still accept trades on all types Gina of goes, We'll also look at any you look different, I said. to sell or put on consignment. Thank you, dear. JLM Shooter Supply carries firearms to meet any budget, and we can even special order items for those who like to add higher-end guns to their collection. JLM also has a full-time gunsmith on board that can help with all your gun repair needs. So from ammo and hearing protection to gun cleaning kits, holsters, and sights, we handle it all at JLM oh, Shooter yes, Supply. Yes, oh, I'm Please stop by and see us at 6931 Douglas Avenue in Irvingdale, or call us at 515-331-1577. If you had all, my, if you had all 515, the guests memorized, I would I'd give you a raise. I have a third of it. You don't if you're an archer, you know how important the feel and performance of a bow is on your ability to send that yeah. arrow to where it needs to go. Not all bows are made the same, and that's especially true Good morning, Rick. Indianapolis. What are you doing in, in Indianapolis, male man? Models that are compact, quiet, and lightweight. These bows maneuver extremely well, whether you're in the tree stand or the ground blind. If you're a saddle hunter, Gearhead is definitely a bow you need to check out. Gearhead bows are engineered to be ahead oh, of the game man. on the newest. I gotta start going through my camo and getting Gearhead my camo ready. Get all my camo. Satisfaction every day. <laughs> Glad to hear they Bay Cat accident. Yeah, they're nice people, Joe. Gearhead bows, quiet, deadly accurate, and affordable. So we just gotta get people buying some. Hunter, head over to your nearest dealer, like Archery Field and Sports in Altoona, <laughs> Iowa. Or go online to www.gearheadarchery.com. Stack the deck on your next hunt with Gearhead. Shop online at gearheadarchery.com or locally at Archery Field and Sports in Altoona. Hey, students, are you into shooting sports? Well, if you are, have you ever thought about using your passion to help you in college? Grandview yeah. University well, is a small point, private college yeah, that is looking for like students to have a passion for the shooting sports and learning. Grandview, Grandview University has a shooting sports program that if you qualify yeah, will like give you a guaranteed <laughs> rate for your whole education. There you go, Rick. Good for you, buddy. That means your cost won't go up. I know you did, Jeff. Thank you. Hey, we're going to start doing a, uh, a Norlander sock deal. I'm going to start giving some hunting boots away again. So next week or so, wait till I announce it. But if you buy a pair of Norlander socks for the fall, we'll push you in for a boot drawing. I'm going to do every 10 people, I'm going to give away a pair of boots. So I'll probably give away three or four pairs. Okay? I'm going to spread it out a little bit. For more information, well, we're getting almost the sock weather. Almost. A little bit less than the last couple of years, but it's all right. Turkey season is a passion sure. shared by hunters, and it's fast approaching all across this nation when it's time to start cutting, yelping, and clucking yeah, and purring at those boss the toms. There they are awesome, buddy. Yeah. I love my Norlander sock. And that's why you need to check out Rupert's Roost and Peace Turkey Calls. Todd Rupert is a master turkey call maker yeah. from Pennsylvania but, that is uh, so yeah. passionate yeah. about chasing yeah. toms. I bet you Rick's got 20 pairs of Norlander socks. He just said socks. Can make the right call when it matters. Rupert's Roost and yeah. Peace Turkey. They never have enough the socks. They make great the presents. Todd Everybody the loves to get uh, alpaca socks for on all of his They're the, they're the most comfortable socks you will ever wear. Cuts and, and they work great in your hunting boots. Boss Tom fired up. Rupert's Roost and Peace Turkey Call. Morning, Brant. Hey, Brant, we're going to talk uh, dove hunting next week. Okay? I got Jim Coffee coming on next week, Brant, just for you. Upcoming turkey season. Try a Rupert's Roost and Peace Turkey Call. Socks and Crocs. There you go. I'm looking for new boots. Well, don't buy them, Larry. You might win. You just have to get some socks. Wait till I announce it, though. On Des Moines Sports Leader, 1350 ESPN. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. Hope everyone's having a good Saturday all across the good USA. We're going to go up to Wisconsin and talk to one of my favorite people in the world, Skippy Peterson, everybody. What's up, Skippy? 
Good morning, outdoor Dan. Woo. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna. I want to get you on here real quick because I was downstairs right now at the show last night. <laughs> yeah. Scotty Mueller, I have three pairs of those socks, and and so does my wife. Love the knee high link. There you go. Scotty, uh, Larry says we'll do. I love Norlander socks. Almost makes winter worth it. I'm telling you, Rick, those socks rock, man. Uh, Skippy, I, I just, I was downstairs. I was caressing, holding, sweet talking, singing to my beautiful Carbon Twenty Four Pivot Bow from Gearhead last night. Dan, you might have to get some counseling or something. <laughs> that's kind of, that's kind of weird. Scotty Mueller said, "Good morning, Skippy." Good morning, Scotty. Uh, Dan, you might need some counseling. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe we can see if we can hook up with that. I, I'm telling you what, I don't know if you saw that video I did the other day. I was I just got through taping the Healthy Herd, and I, I got a chance to shoot some arrows downstairs. And yeah. Skip, I'm a, I, you know, listen, I've shot a lot of good bows. This is I've been bow hunting for 30-something years, and... Uh, I've, I mean, I've been, you know, Matthews and Elite, they're, they're great companies, and I'll always say that. Um, I was, I, uh, Matthews was one of my first sponsors. But I, I, I can honestly, I, I don't know how else to say it, folks, and I, and I, I mean this with all my heart. That, that Pivot 24 Carbon is my favorite bow I've ever shot. Um, and I, I have never told a manufacturer that I don't want to shoot any more of your bows. I want. I'm only going to shoot this for a couple years. I've never told a bow maker that. And I, I said unless unless you come out with something that you absolutely want video of or me using, I'm keeping this. I, I asked. I told Skip I'm going to buy another one for a backup. Skip, that is the most quietest, easy drawn bow I've ever shot. And that 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 carbon, there's it just doesn't weigh anything. There's no hand shock in it. That bow is awesome, man. It's, it's good to hear that, but, but you know the thing. Uh, I hear that a lot, which which you know, like a lot of companies, like which is, you spoke about Matthews. I mean, when they're developing bows, you know, they're doing it for like multiple years. You know, yeah. I mean, they might like they have their next bow. You know, it's five years out. You know, that's that's how far that they they are with that. And you know how we we got to that pivot bow is you know when like our early bows they were draw length and draw weight specific so people can adjust their weight and as we get older you know sometimes 70 pounds seem like a good idea but then you get in the winter months and you sure wish you were pulling 60 so they would send their bows back and i would swap the limbs out and stuff like that and, and you know after thousands of shots i could see wear patterns developing on the bottom side of the of the bottom side of the limbs where they bend over the the bezel yeah and um you know it was on a saturday i just thought you know what i what if i put because we have the two different side plates, it's really easy to put a bearing system in there and actually put the bezel area where it actually would pivot as the limbs load up. That would rotate, and then the you wouldn't get the friction of the limbs rubbing back and forth across that static point as you draw it. And, um, you know, I guess I did it on Saturday, and then when I rebuilt the bowl, like, the next week, it's like, it's like man, this thing got quiet. Yeah. This thing, the hand shot got better. Hey, I got a little bit more speed out of it. So it's like, it's like everything led to a positive. So then we, we tested it for a year. I just set it up to some field staff, and I, this was in, a, in the 30 size. And, um, and after, you know, a year of shooting, I got it back. I, I tore it down and looked at it, and those limbs looked brand new they looked exactly like they did the day i put them on and and at that point it's just like this is just a better a better way to make a bow and, and that's kind of where i hang up with some of these companies every year they they feel the pressure to come out with a new bow and a new bow and a new bow and sometimes i've seen companies go backwards where they actually the new bow isn't as good as the bow that they had the previous year yeah and i'm a i'm of the mindset unless you have something that makes your product better what's the point i mean all you're doing is kind of fooling the consumer at that point just just let them keep shooting what they're they're shooting, and, and the new the new pivot. We moved it into a twenty four this year, and we're seeing the same results. And then this past week, I got I got the the side plates done for the twenty. So we're going to go down to the twenty. I'm going to we're going to be testing that. Actually, got a few field staff that they're they're lining up to shoot it, and then from there we're going to um, circle back. We're going to Jenny Saki circle back and uh, and make a thirty six into a target bow, and um, because it's just that whole system. Uh, works well, and we also did a prototype. Uh, we're working on the new crossbow, and we're we're putting that system into the crossbow too. Yeah, well, it's a winner. I'm just, I'm just telling you. See, and, yeah. and folks, please don't take this the wrong way. I've been very blessed to do what I do for for 26 years. 
the one of the down so the i mean if you're a bow hunter you're gonna understand this when you get a bow or if you're an angler you get a fishing rod that you just really really love i mean you really don't want to give that rod up or that bow you just get you know when you got to change every year um it's sometimes it's not as it's not as much fun i mean you know it's it's you might not like it as much as the last one. I, I, that's, but I'm just telling you right now that that Pivot 24 Carbon, well, you will not get that bow back for me, on, and I will not be giving that bow away. So anyway, right. hey, they're building some some aluminum versions of that too, just because yep. the, the carbon price adds you know about four or five hundred dollars to the cost just and the cost of the carbon, and that's just materials. Yeah. Um. So building it in aluminum will get it more of a price point bow that people can ex, um, experience the. Yeah, the technology, but yet at a cheaper price point. Larry says I need to give him one of my extra bows. Larry, if you go to Gear Archery, uh, if you go to uh, GearheadArchery.com and order a bow, I'm for the first five people to do that. I'm giving away a four hundred dollar Grizzly cooler, a hundred and twenty dollar uh, Drifter Grizzly cooler, and three hundred dollar uh, Weeby knife packages. Plus, Skip's going to give you either ten to, uh, ten percent off the bow purchase. Or you'll get a free upgrade to gas bowstrings. Uh, first five people. As soon as we get five bow purchases, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw the winners. So go get on it, that, it, folks. Skip it. It's it, it, it probably be easier for them to call me, you know, just so they are in the contest, you know, because I'm not sure the link with the website would put them in the contest where I could make sure that they're in the contest for you. Okay. That. All right, Skip. I gotta run. I'm late for a break, buddy. Be good. I'll talk to you soon. Skip. Yeah. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Happy <laughs> Saturday. Uh, I'll talk to you later, pal. There you go, Skippy P. We'll be right back on 1350 ESPN. Hey, are you in the market for a new RV? That hey, Roger, good, good for you. That's the looking difference looking between Skippy and other owners. Skippy cares about his customers. Head on over Scotty, to I, why don't you get on your butt and get you a bow? I want to see you shooting a gearhead, Scotty. Behind or fifth wheel RVs from Sprinter. That's a heck of a deal, man. You buy a bow, you, now carry SMC horse you got a $400, 75 quart Grizzly cooler. Imperial RV also features a I love my St. Croix fishing rods, and I got the track. I know I want to switch out. I'm telling, hey, Jeff, I don't tell you it's a good thing unless it's, it, if it's not. I told you those tracker rods are game changers, man. Morning, Hank. Hey, have fun on your, uh, your retreat today, Hank. Tell everybody hi for me. Please call them at 515 Revelton's having a big retreat today. Or check them out online at imperialrvcenter.com. That's imperialrvcenter.com. Imperial RV Center in Ankeny, making memories to last a life. Scotty, you going to order a bow? Ready for your next outdoor adventure. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice to have high That's a great deal trying to save up for the bow. There you go, Larry. Well, Tacticam has been helping hunters. T Larry, I tell you what, buddy. Here's I'm going to cut you a deal. You call Skip a gearhead, and you tell him I told you to call Larry Goodwin, okay? And you tell him you want, you, I would, hey, I would look at that Disruptor 24. That's a great bow, too. And it's a little less expensive than that Pivot 24 Carbon, unless you want that one. Um, just tell him that you're doing that, and, uh, and get your order in, and uh, I'll let you, uh, he'll probably want you to pay for it before he ship, but... If you if you're trying to save up right now, if you want in that contest, just give him a deposit. I'll do that for you, Larry, because I know you've been trying to get a bow for a while. Okay, call Skip and tell me. Have Skip call me and tell me if we if you guys got something worked out. All right, you're gonna love them, man. They're great bows. Todd Ru Rupert asked me to say hello from our Jake's Day. Hey, everybody at the Jake's Day in PA. For over 40 years. Itasca learned over the years that using only the highest quality materials. I was planning on it, but I won that bow, brand new bow, maybe next season after I get the shop built. Well, you know, you could just sell those bows, Scotty. Morning, Justin. Itasca Footwear will provide you not only Justin loves Gearhead. Everybody I know that's got them loved them, Scotty. You're going to love them. Hey, Philip Vanderpool. Philip was giving me grief, man. So everyone can 
Philip was giving me grief. He goes, um, Dan, are you sure that bow shoots as good as you're saying it shoots? Are you sure? And then I saw him turkey season in Kansas, and I made him go outside and listen to me shoot that bow. I said, now, is that not quiet? He goes, yeah, that's quiet, but are you sure that out the 40 and 50 shoots? I go, Philip, I'm telling you. it's. Just, I mean, look, I just shot. So he got his skips, sent him a couple bows, because they're gonna. Uh, Philip's going to start shooting gearhead. And... All he does is talk about how much he loves them now. And I keep asking, where's my apology, Philip? I want to hear I'm sorry that you doubted my word. Oh, biscuit, buddy. Hey, Patrick, how you doing, buddy? Fishing Hickory Grove. Good luck, Patrick. Hope you do good. American Janner Vodkas. Revelton Distilling visitors can't believe the flavor. A bow is such a personal preference. I mean, everybody's got, you know, everybody's got their brands that they, they you know, they're brand loyal, which I, listen, I, I'll never say anything about somebody being brand loyal. That's awesome. I'm just saying, if you're if you're out there looking and you want to try a, a, one of the quietest bows and accurate bows you've ever shot, just make Gearhead part of the conversation when you go shoot. That's all I'm asking. Because if you get one, you're gonna be you're gonna love them. Just go on that Gearhead uh, Gearhead Archery uh, fan page. All the people that have bought them around the country, and he sells them out. He sells them over in other countries too. Everybody's just they rave about them. And most of the people have three or four of them. They just they love them. We've got a number of pre-owned golf carts and all types of. Justin Richardson, no better bow. Went was shooting seventy yards a couple days ago with my T twenty, guaranteed to shoot bigger bucks. There you go, Justin. They're they're just shooting. They're good shooting bows. You're listening to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. All right, Clear Lake. Black crappie by slow, channel catfish by the spare, largemouth fair, walleye fair, bass are slow. East Okoboji, black crappie bites, good gills are good, largemouth bass are fair, walleye are fair, silver lake, walleye bite is good, spirit lake, crappie bites good, gills are fair, walleye are good, yellow perch are good, West Okoboji, black crappie bite is fair, gills are good, pumpkin seeds are good, walleye are fair, yellow perch are fair, some sorting may be needed, little river shed water, little river watershed lake. Uh, gills are slow, bass are fair. Bass are hitting on finesse plastic near weed lines. Three mile walleye are slow. Twelve mile gills are slow. Large mouth bass are slow. West Lake. Uh, West Lake says uh, no fishing report at West Lake. They don't say anything. There's your fishing report for the week. Look at that. I got uh, I got that done like that, like that, like that. So we got this new thing coming out next year called Bowstring Adventures. I'm still trying to get everything. It'll air on my YouTube channel. <coughs> this is just a little sweet project that I want to do. It's going to be like a 10 or 15 minute hunting show that you can watch for free. And uh, if uh, I'm, I told everybody on the Gearhead Ambassadors page, if they give me a hunt to use, I'm gonna I'm gonna give away a Kansas whitetail hunt at Donovan's at Triple H. That's a $4,500 hunt. So, uh, if you uh, get you a gearhead and you want to try to win a $4,500 whitetail hunt to some of the best whitetail hunts in the world, uh, that's all you got to do and, and uh, share a hunt with me. So, there you go. That's another incentive to buy you a gearhead this year. Ugh, fun, fun, fun stuff. All right, I got to take a quick break. I'll be right back in about two, three minutes. And we'll be uh, talking to Jared Larson at Onyx right here on 1350 ESPN. You make me wonder. Hey, Chris, have fun at Jake's Day. Hey, Jerry Moyer. Hey, guys, Jackie Bushman here with Buckmasters. When it comes to food plot seed and deer feed, the Mississippi-based Backwoods Attractions product line has you covered. From their food plot blends like Trophy Acre, Lazy Acre, Clover Deluxe, and the popular Dixie Six, to their attractants like Game Changer, Sweet Stuff, and Buck Robert. The best way to put it is, if you're not using Backwoods Attraction products, you better hope your neighbor isn't either. From small to large acreage, Backwoods Attraction has the feed and seed perfect for your hunting property. So do yourself a favor and swing by and support your local co-op or farm supply store and ask for Backwoods Backwoods attraction to set yourself up for a successful fall. Uh, secret listener contest next week on the app. Winner's going to get a Weeby knife set. Just made my mind up. I'll draw. I'll draw the winners next Saturday. Since it started in 2019. 
Well, vet outdoors Might do is a two. group of veterans that want Maybe to support vets winners. after service by taking them on outdoor activities, providing camaraderie yeah, for vets with other yeah. vets, yeah. and a supportive environment. At Movet Outdoors, you can go on hunting and fishing trips, survival school, golfing trips, and even take part at their new archer range. There's also a great fishing tournament every year and other contests for vets to take part in. Movet Outdoors is building a new lodge in Lincoln County, Missouri, and has plans for another in the future to support vets in their community. So, if you're a veteran or active duty and would like to join a great group of fellow veterans, look up Movet Outdoors on Facebook. And send them a message. MoVet Outdoors is been working you, with vets every week to continue their great mission. Go check them out. You'll be glad you did. KRNT Des Moines. He has 1021 FM and 1350 ESPN. Des Moines Sports Leader. Ready! The Des Moines Media Group Station. That big buck has eluded you for seasons. You see his scrape line, but just can't figure him out. Have you heard of Pure White Tail? Pure White. What's the deal of the knife here. giveaway? That's the that, uh, that's the secret listener for the app next week, Patrick, where you send me a screenshot of you listening to a show Monday through Friday, once a day. Every week I draw a listener prize. We've been doing it for a while. Come on, two years, a year, at least a year or two. Branches or scrapes. Just my little way of giving back. It's a proven scent that bucks can't resist. Pure Whitetail is more than scents. It's a community of hunters that are family. Just go to purewhitetail.com and check out all they have to offer. Scents, hunting gear, seed, grilling sauces, coffee, apparel, field staff opportunities, and family. Are you catching any fish, Patrick? Go to purewhitetail.com or look them up on Facebook. If you love yeah, good hunt, morning to fish. Pure family what was windy today. yesterday? Hey, come back with that Gearhead song. I gotta hear my Gearhead song. Yeah. Or you can come back next break with it. That's fine. Okay. This is the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on Des Moines Sports Leader, 1350 ESPN. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio. Hour number two is brought to you by the fine folks at Gearhead Archery. GearheadArchery.com. Call and give Skippy a, a call and say, Skip, I want to order a bow that Outdoors Dan Feller sent me. Do that, and uh, he'll put you in that contest that we're doing. So uh, we we need to get some bows going for him. He's been busy, but uh, just in every little bit helps, and you're going to get a great hunting bow. So just telling you, man. Time to get your stuff going. It's ready. It's time to go. It's go time. I know a lot of people don't get serious about deer hunting until like the third week of October. So I, I, there's some of us that like to go out open a day. Some of us are nuts. Some of us are fanatical, crazy, can't sleep. You ever do that? You ever, you ever, you ever uh, not been able to sleep because you're trying to figure out what stand to sit in? Yeah, I, I, my dog hates me when it's deer season because I'll be at 2 o'clock in the morning going, I'll be checking wind direction and I'll be on my onyx and looking at stands and looking at the wind and, and it's like, what stand do I go to? Do I really, and I, it, my raven's sitting there growling at me, will you just go to sleep? Yeah. Hey, let's head over to the phones and talk to one of my favorite people in the whole wide world, my buddy Jared Larson. Hi, buddy. Morning, Dan. What do you know, pal? Oh, Larry McCoy just ambush called us. Oh, yeah. That's uh, that's not a bad way to start a Saturday morning. Yeah, and that when you get a big celebrity to call in like that, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Big big celebrities are always entertaining, aren't they? I'm telling you, buddy. I'm telling you. Are you are you getting gomered up for hunting season yet? Oh man, I've been gomered up for hunting season for. Uh, I hung my first trail cameras a little over a month ago now, and pretty immediately had a have a good buck in there. Uh, you know, he's only it's piece of public, pretty small piece of public. Uh, I managed to find a deer worth hunting in there about every year, though. And um, I don't know, he's probably been in this little bedroom six or seven times in the last month, and 
can't really put together any consistent pattern. He's in there on a northeast wind. He's in there on a west wind. He's in there on a south wind. So, yeah, I mean, you know how it goes. He's yeah. still got velvet on his antlers. And so uh, I might never see him again here in three weeks. Or maybe he'll uh, slip up and hang around just a little too long. Um, and out in Montana, well, I'm, I'm actually headed musky fishing right now. So I'm going to miss antelope opener. But most of us Westies are just, uh, just a few days away from getting her started. Yeah, how how is the how is the mule deer and the antelope out there? Did you guys lose a bunch, or are you guys in good shape out there? You know, I mean, like this this immediate past winter was. You know, I've only been in Montana for I guess this is going to be working on year eight. Um, but this immediate past winter was uh, honestly the the lamest winter as far as winter goes that I've experienced. We had that one cold snap that the whole country had there for a week when it was negative 30 or what have you. But, um, we, we had insignificant snowfall, like in a lot of, uh, a lot of Montana anyway, like 50 to 60% of average annual. Um, so good thing for the critters. Uh, you know, obviously the winter of 2023 was gnarly for a lot of them. Um, A lot of, uh, just lot of. Drive, drive, driving across the state here uh, in the last day, headed, headed musky fishing, though not nearly the number of antelope seen from the highway as times pass, but uh, doesn't mean they're not there. Just means they weren't visible from 94 today. Yeah, I was going to go hunt antelope with my buddy Dirk Stark, and uh, I had to cancel that because of my Achilles injury, but... I, uh, I'm glad to hear that they're coming back. Cause I know I talked to Mike Watkins out in Alzada, Montana, a couple, like two years ago. And you guys, they had that, um, uh, they had that really bad winter and they had a lot of winter mortality. So, uh, and then yeah, it, and I, go ahead. I, hunted, I, I was hunting Eastern Montana there for quite a few years in a row, chases year around. And yeah, it, you know, it, it's hard not being a local, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm driving seven hours to the Eastern side of the state there, but, um, some buddies of mine that, that are more localized out there, you know, EHD. Yeah, they got it. It hit, hit pretty hard in eastern Montana there, I want to say, in like 2019, 2020, somewhere yeah. in that time frame. Yeah, 2021, um, they got hit pretty good. So Okay. Because, yeah, yeah I, I remember I uh, it, it was a stark contrast. Like, one year out there, you know, it was a lot of deer, a lot of decent bucks. Montana is always a tough state to find a mature buck just because we have a six week long rifle season right through the rut. Yeah. Um, but you know, like if you wanted to go find what, what us locals call a, a box buck, you know, you're 130, maybe 140 inch, probably three and a half year old deer. You know, that was a very achievable goal. Whereas, uh, you know, not the last couple of years I'd hunted out there, which it's now been a couple of years. It was like, wow, Finding a respectable buck became pretty tough. Yeah, how's the elk going? How's your elk hunting out there? I mean, are, are you getting with uh, Colorado changing their over-the-counter permits after this year? I know people are going to be trying to put in and uh, um, and uh, you know check out different states. Arizona, New Mexico has always been a big draw, but it's you know it takes you several years to draw that. How's Montana doing for non-res? Yeah, I mean, you know, Montana for non-res is, is much like the rest of the country. It's, uh, you know, if you put in for the general combo tag, which gets you a deer and elk tag in Montana, mm-hmm. um, you know, anytime they can grab 1300 bucks from you, they, they prioritize those applications. Um, I, I don't know the exact splits on X percentage gets this portion of the non-resident tags, uh, but... Uh, you know, if you want a reasonable quality elk hunt, I mean, Montana general units, especially for archery guys, is still a great, great hunt. Um, and it's something you could do every two or three years for sure. Uh, and, and so, you know, I, I've hunted a fair number of different units in the state and kind of like pick your own adventure. Uh, you know, you got the eastern side of the state that's more like rolling hills, breaky country. Those tags are going to be a little bit harder to draw. You might be in it for, for a longer application period. Um, and then, of course, you know, as you move further west, it gets to the steeps and the dark timber. And, um, you know, lately I've really been enjoying hunting the eastern half of the state just because if they're not screaming, you can still put yourself in the game by using your eyes. Um but there is something to be said for bugling them in close in the dark timber. Yeah, yeah. I, I 
I, I like them both ways. I mean, it just they're just a neat animal. Neil, thank you, buddy. I'm glad Speed's doing good at the fair. So, hey, hey, have you, have you, what, what are you shooting for a bow? I, I don't think I've ever asked you that. Are you shooting Matthews or what are you shooting? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I shoot a Matthews. And, and honestly, Dan, I, uh, I buy a, a new bow like once every five to seven years is kind of my pace because yeah. I, as much as I love to tinker with gear at times, I do not love to tinker with my bow or my rifle. Yeah. Once, once, once they're shooting, I don't have an interest in uh, in retuning, redialing, refining just to get the latest and greatest. I, I, I'm still on the Matthews Traverse, which was maybe like their 2019 bow. Yeah. Something no, like that. Yeah. No, Matthews is a good company. I want you to do me a favor. Next time you're in Wisconsin um, or whatever, I want you to go, I want you to look at gearhead bows for me. Because as much as you like to travel up and down those, those mountains and stuff, packing in and packing out... Uh, I'm I've a, seen those little things, man. I, 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 uh, Skip Peterson, I've known Skip, Jared, for 20, 21 years. I met him out at uh, Alzada, Montana, out at Trophies Plus Outfitters when I was filming Outdoors Traditions TV. And we've been, yeah. bu we've been buddies ever since. But him and his wife took, uh, Skip has been with Gearhead for the whole time, the 20 years they've been in business. Um, but him and his wife uh, took that over as owners last year. Um, now, those those are those like super short axle to axle bows that I'm thinking. Yeah, of, correct. I, I'm shooting a I'm shooting a carbon 24 inch bow. Now, if you would have told me five years ago I was going to be shooting a 24 inch bow, I would have laughed at you. And when Skip, uh, um, I Elite did not renew my contract, or the Outdoor Group didn't renew me last year. Um, when Skip called me and told me that uh, him and him and Kristen had taken over the company, I said, "Well, listen. If anything changes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to, I want to shoot those bows, and I'll look at you before I go back to Matthews or somewhere. Because I still have buddies at Matthews. I mean, Mike Zebel and everybody. I, I mean, I, yeah. they're good. They're good people and good company. But uh, I actually shot that Disruptor 24, uh, which is the aluminum, and and Jared, I, I just love the bow. It's it's one of the most quietest bows I've ever shot. There's no hand shock. Extremely accurate. You could, the, the adjustability on those bows are amazing. Um, they don't look like a regular compound bow, which is kind of cool because they stand out. But uh, I, as much as you run and gun up, run and, gun up and down so, the mountain. So what does that bow weigh? Uh, it's just under four pounds. Yeah, that's, I mean, what 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 type of axle to axle were you shooting prior to the switch? Uh, 30, 32, 30, 32. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, so I mean, it's a little bit, that, but I, I'm just telling you right now, I, out to 40, 50 yards, I'm holding two-inch groups, and that, that bow is quick, it's quiet, um, and it just doesn't weigh anything. That carbon's, that carbon, I, with all my stuff on it, I haven't weighed it, but it just, it doesn't weigh anything. I mean, it's so light in your hand. And you could throw that on the back of your pack and not even feel it. Well, and see, man, that's where I, I try not to even dabble because, uh, you know, it's like it's like going to a new car lot when you yep. don't need a new car, but you drive the 2025 whatever, and then you're like, well, shit, my 2019s, I need to get rid of this thing. <laughs> and so, like, yeah. I do I do the same, uh, same process with bows. I try not to shoot them unless I want to buy one yep. because pretty quickly... You shoot a couple arrows, and you're like, man, out with the old. Well, I just uh, I just know as many people as you know. Um, just do me a favor. If you are ever in that area, I want you to call Skip and talk to him. And I just I want you to shoot that Pivot Carbon 24. And where, where in Wisconsin is he? He's in Madison. Okay. Yeah, and okay. Uh, I want you to go try that bow. Because I got Philip Vanderpool switched over. Philip can't believe how good they shoot and how light they are. Um, and quiet. Oh. I mean, they're the quietest bow I've ever shot, Jared. So. Now, are they uh, are, are they have a, a decent distribution across dealers across the states? And well, is, is it possible to go shoot one, or pretty tough to find one to shoot? Well, do me a favor. Why don't you just call Skip and talk to him? Tell him, tell him, who, <laughs> tell him who you are, and then uh, and he can tell you who's going to be out there. Because honestly, in your area, I don't know. But I mean, if well, you, if you yeah, talk to my him, my area is probably a lost cause. We need some more bow shops in general. So yeah, is anybody uh, itching to start a bow shop? Take a look at Missoula, Montana. You'd be welcome with open arms. And if I had, if I had, if I had the money, buddy, I'd be out there in a heartbeat. But why don't you call him and just have a conversation? He might just send you one to shoot. 
Yeah, well, I'll, uh, I'll have to do that. Okay, yeah, because you'll like Skippy. He's one of the nicest people. His customer service is off the hook. So, um, Well, just- I can always appreciate a, uh, a good customer service, a real person that I can talk to. So. Yeah. And I, he'll, he'll, he'll a check box. Well, yeah, I mean, when you being with Onyx, he liked it too. But hey, um, let me take a break, and we'll actually have you talk about Onyx since for the last thirteen minutes we've been talking about everything else. Um, let me uh, let me hit this break. We'll come back because you got some new stuff out that people are going to want to hear about, right? Yep, get to it. Yeah, we'll get to it. We'll be right back with the man Jared Larson right here on thirteen fifty ESPN. If you're an angler, you know the importance of keeping your bait fresh, alive, and handy. Well, let's talk about a bait system that helps folks catch more fish and is made in Minnesota where they know fishing. The Bait Caddy is an amazing bait system that you can use for open water fishing or ice fishing that keeps your minnows, leeches, shiners, and bait fresh while you fish. The Bait Caddy has a clear UV-resistant housing that lets you see your bait at all times. Its large lid allows easy access to your bait and keeps it handy and flush in 8 to 10 inch ice holes. No loose parts, it's self-filling, then it floats. Plus, it's made not to crack, warp, or fade. The bait caddy will fit in your live well or troll easy alongside your boat and it's made in the USA. The bait caddy has a lifetime warranty and will be a bait system your friends will want. For more information, please go online to www.baitcaddy.com. The bait caddy easy access to your bait, made in Minnesota and keeps your bait fresh all day. Things are very important to your arrow flight and for consistent grouping. Flex Fletch and its fine lineup of products has been helping archers steer their arrows for over 50 years. Silent Night veins are 30% thinner with a much greater taper than veins out there. This contributes to a dramatic reduction of in-flight drag. Flex Fletch veins also have the capability of reshaping or bounce back after pass-through shots on targets or game. This ensures consistent arrow flight every time. Flex Fletch offers a variety of colors, sizes, and styles for any archer to use in their setup. Whether it's for 3D indoor or hunting, Flex Fletch has the vein for you. To see these great veins and adhesives like Zing or Flex Bond to get a great seal on your arrow when you fletch, go to your local dealer or flexfletch.com. Flex Fletch, proudly made in the USA, based out of Minnesota. Oh, sorry. I had to talk to Jared off the air. When you're getting ready to out- What's up, Jeff? Good morning, sir. Adventure. There's one place in Ankeny that's your one-stop outdoor shop. That's Sportsman's Warehouse. The Sportsman's oh. Warehouse has every Man, this show goes quick, doesn't fishing, it? Fishing, hunting, firearms, and camping like that. gear that will make any outdoor trip a success. Sportsman's Warehouse carries nationally known brands that have been tried and proven in the field. I actually changed my grip on my bow the other day. That is so hard to do when you're used to shooting a way... I used to just grip my bow like this, but I, I've noticed if I if I actually rotated my wrist where I got a little 45, see that 45, see that angle right here, instead of like this, like this, I get way less torque on my bow, and uh, I'm, I've been shooting way better. I shot okay before, but I'm shooting way better. Even even Raven's impressed. Sportsman's Warehouse in He's not, he don't care. <laughs> At American Family Life Insurance, we know that protecting your time flies when you're having fun, Scotty. Priority and life insurance is an easy way to help make that happen. You'll feel good knowing you've taken. There you go, Jeff. Protect what matters most if you were to pass away. Plus, life insurance is often more affordable than you think. Let's talk about options that fit. Man, I'm so happy. It's August. Football's back on. Today, fantasy football's back. I get to start hunting here pretty quick. My foot's doing better. I got some good fishing coming up for the fall what yeah, a great I'm time of year how many times have you had to quit hunting because your feet got cold or uncomfortable well i have a way to keep your feet feeling great and any you know what i'm saying or Andrew, outdoor you activity ready. have you heard of yeah. norland or stock company norland or stock company uses i've quality. been cooped up way too long man I, I, could, I just feel so I'll far behind this year having had achilles tear couldn't do anything day. forever i'll pack of socks will wick away any moisture that you might <sighs> encounter plus yeah. work with your outdoor footwear Keep it's time to go, to baby. To Alpaca Socks also has a natural antibacterial quality. Time to go. Keep your socks from smelling. 
They have heavyweight and lightweight styles with a bunch of color and size choices for you to choose from. Plus, gift boxes. I had somebody ask me a couple questions about political stuff, so year, and I told them I really don't want to go talk about politics sure in it because no matter what you do, somebody half your audience is probably going to be mad at you because you know what I'm saying. That's why I don't want to really deal with it. But I had somebody ask me about uh, about outdoor call radio. I'll tell you later. On 1350 ESPN. Hi, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio on 1350 ESPN, brought to you in part by our good friends at Herman's Fine Jewelers at 29 University in West Des Moines. We're going to be giving away a pair of half-carat diamond earrings for Christmas. That's right, it's the Herman's Hunt for Christmas. That's right, we're going to be doing that pretty soon. So, you know, hey, just tell the wife you, she might win something really special this year. Honey, you be extra nice. You get that coffee, you know, you just take care of that coffee. and Or, you know what, I'll make your coffee when you go fishing, sweetheart. Get, why don't you go catch me some fish, you know? But, uh, she, you know, you put those earrings underneath the tree, and she opens that up. Wait till you see that little sparkle in her eye and that smile. You're going to, you're going to, you're just going to be in a whole nother rack category right there, buddy. <laughs> yeah. You go from get a four, you go from a five pointer to a 10 pointer in her eyes really quick. I'm telling you. Herman's Fine Jewelers, give them a holler, tell them uh, thanks for supporting the outdoors, 2900 University in West Des Moines, 222-2600, 222-2600, they're awesome people, tell them Outdoors Dan sent you. All right, let's go back to the phones. What's up there, Jared, are you still there? Oh, I'm here, man. Okay, so I've been using Onyx for several years now, and uh, I, I use it all the time. I, as a matter of fact, when I'm traveling... I actually take in my CarPlay and I use my Onyx app for travel instead of the Google Maps thing, and uh, I just love it. It's uh, it's really more detailed, more accurate now. And then going to my stands in the morning, if it's instead of using a flashlight or you know trying to, I just I just pop on my Onyx and it takes me right to my stand or my ground blind. But it, I understand if I understood this correctly, you've actually made this easier now. Uh, as far as, as far as like getting to your stand or car player. Uh, well, is the, well, let's, what, what did you just add on there? Uh, well, I mean, we've, we've got a number of additions. Um, you know, CarPlay, CarPlay came out, oh, a little over a year and a half ago, I think. Yep. Android Auto took a, a lot longer to get approved by just the, uh, the Play Store. So yeah. Android Auto, for those that are running an Android, that came out. Oh, I want to say in like May or June. Yeah, um, it, yeah. Apple was way earlier. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, uh, yeah, we finally finally got to our Android friends and, and got that up and running. But man, I, I'm the same way. Like CarPlay. Uh, in fact, like right now, I'm driving across North Dakota and I saw a, a stud of a whitetail. You know, squarely on private land, hundreds of miles from home, but I still dropped a waypoint on him on CarPlay. <laughs> like, you know, why wouldn't I? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, but you guys right, got uh, you guys got turn by turn. Now, is that just for oh, is that for the vehicle, or can you is it going to help you in the in the field too? No, yeah. So you know, turn by turn. Basically, if you have any waypoint marked, you can tap on that waypoint, and just like you would share it or edit it, you have those bubbles across the bottom. When yeah. you tap on it, you can hit uh, navigate to. Yeah, and that's going to pull up you know your Apple Maps or your Google Maps, and just give you the turn by turn driving directions that way. Um, you know, if it's unfamiliar, you know, you're not quite sure if it's a left or a right, like quickly navigate to. So that's, that's one that is pretty new. Uh, certainly a handy one. Uh, one that I'm really excited about that we just came out with is, is offline sharing. So, you know, how you can share a waypoint, you know, send a tree stand over to Larry or, or fill up. So that way they know exactly how to get there, or a track or an access route to that tree stand. Well, now you're in elk camp or you're in a deer camp that doesn't have service, you can share content basically via airplay, uh, or airdrop rather. Yeah. Um, oh really? So you can yeah, airdrop that. You, yep. You don't need any service to share content anymore. Wow. Um, and, uh, so yeah, that's, that's a, a really exciting one that, uh, I'm going to use a ton this, this fall. Um, so that, that's new in the product. And then, 
You know, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't just stop and introduce Onyx Fish to your audience. Well, um, uh, well, that's that's another thing we were going to talk. Jeff in New York says, I got Onyx when I moved out here to New York. Uh, uh, thanks to your show. Wish I was smart enough to maximize its functions. Jeff, well, Jared, tell him how he can yeah. tell him how he can learn how to do Onyx better, Jeff. Yeah, Jared. Jeff. Appreciate you listening. Send your email to Dan, and uh, I'll hook you up with a, a free year of Elite. Um, and Dan will pass along your email to me, and we'll get you squared up. Oh, but, that was, that's uh, nice of you. So, what you can do, Jeff, is we host uh, master classes. So, if you go to the Onyx Hunt website, onyxmaps.com, click on the Hunt page. And then um, on the right-hand side of the main menu, there's going to be a More tab. Click Master Classes. You can go in and sign up for our Master Classes. And, I mean, we do monthly, uh, we call them 101s. Um, so, basically, like A to Z, here are the basic use cases of the app to make sure that folks at least have knowledge of all of the functionality because uh, Jeff's in the same boat with most of all, most all of our other customers, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's awesome for a parcel viewer to get the public private land data, allowing you to hunt with confidence, know where you're at. But man, that, that doesn't even scratch the surface of what the app does. Um, so I would definitely encourage, go check out those one-on-ones if you want in-depth on X coverage and learning, uh, opportunities there. But then we also do all sorts of nuanced master classes. You know, we'll bring in, uh, you know, experts from like National Deer Association and do like live Deer Steward One courses of theirs. Um, you know, we'll work with some of our partners like Tethered Saddles is going to come on and do like a saddle master class at the end of September. So like we're always trying to just elevate our customers' knowledge and confidence, whether that's in our own product, in other products we trust. Um, so that that would be my best resource to go learn more about how you can take full advantage of the hunt app. Okay. Now, and, and you know, listen, the the layer the layer technology. If you're going to be out there with topography and stuff, Jared, that's just a that's just a downright game changer. Oh, and honestly, you know, one of one of our most used layers and most used in the whitetail woods in the whitetail regions is, is slope angle. So yeah. if you go to your map layers land and access like slope angle it just color codes gradients for you so zero to 10 degree slope is green you know 10 to 20 is yellow so on and so forth and yeah if you're not comfortable with topography or um or you just want to like at a glance understand like okay that's steep and that's not steep that's kind of a shortcut and then the other one is is 3d elevation exaggeration so if you flip your phone into 3d i hunted kansas last year got absolutely whooped I'll preface it with that. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, those those flatter areas, sometimes it's really hard to get a good feeling for the landscape when you're not there with just topography alone. Um, you know, especially if there's only 10, 20 feet elevation gain. Mm-hmm. If that, you know, those deer travel those little ditches and those little terrain nuances, even if it's a couple feet of elevation, those deer are going to use that to their advantage. And that 3D elevation exaggeration option, you can just distort that terrain and, I mean, shoot, man, you can make a, a five-foot little ditch pretty obvious using that feature. So, yeah, the suite of base maps, just as far as breaking down a property, understanding, you know, like, if you're looking at your own property that you hunt and you have a buck and he kind of disappeared, you know, flip on that 3D elevation exaggeration, analyze your property, figure out where you don't have cameras, where you're overlooking and, and oftentimes, you know, you can find something that's kind of like an aha moment, like, holy smokes, why didn't I ever check out that little draw or that saddle? Um, so definitely use that to really break down any terrain nuances you're looking for. Yeah, and going back to the Onyx fish, I mean, that's awesome for marking brush piles, creek channels, all that well, stuff. Yeah, let me tell you about it a little bit. So Onyx fish, we, we're starting super targeted right yeah. now it's onyx fish minnesota we yep. only have minnesota today and it's free so if you you know obviously in iowa there if you're a fisherman you probably are going to head up to minnesota at least once a year to go fish the land of ten thousand. and so um you know what we are really trying to do with the fish product is we understand that that serious fishermen probably have a hummingbird or a lawrence or you know name the the gps navigational unit in their boat 
Um, and of course, you know, there's the shore fishermen and the John boat guys and the guys that don't have that tech, but for the guys with the tech where we're really trying to make an impact, it's helping you understand and find new water. Mm -hmm. Um, so really species rich data. So if you want to go fish a new lake and understand, okay, what type of species are in this lake? We have all of that detailed data pulled in from, uh, you know, the state of Minnesota. And then we also give you an understanding of trophy quality like hey this is a great lake to go catch your slot 15 to 20 inch walleyes you're trying to find a 24 to 27 not going to be your lake um and and so like that's something that we are really trying to dive deep into is more like the lake discovery pre-planning and then of course you know you can take that onto the boat with you be better prepared have some spots marked on the map use that to pair up with the unit you have in your boat, or if you don't have one, you know, that's really where it can become useful um, because there is bathymetry data in there. We're actively trying to improve bathymetry data because obviously that's imperative to being successful. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, so far it's going really well. We're hoping to expand to a couple other Midwestern states here by ice season. Um, And yeah, it's been an exciting project, you know, having worked on the, the hunt app for, my eight years at Onyx, it's uh, very different today than it was eight years ago when I started. And fish has kind of been a fun revert. It's like back to bootstrapping, back to day one. Um, but it's been a fun project, and uh, I think the fish app is, is going to be a mainstay for a lot of folks. Yeah, Scotty, in Oklahoma, that will work fantastic for finding your spots when ice fishing, for sure, Scotty says in Oklahoma. Thank you, Scotty. Uh, hey, you need to get a hold of the guys at Midwest Walleye Challenge when you get back. Um, they, that's a that's a new thing. They started this three years ago in Iowa, where they do they collect all these. It's an app, and they ask anglers to go and just download. And every time they catch a walleye, they take a picture of a, on a bump board. It shows their length and everything, and then they they upload it to the app, and then they can win like seventy thousand dollars in prizes and stuff they give away. But they share all that analytical data. For every body of water in the fish measurements with the DNR, with uh, and they do that, they they did that in eight or nine states now, Jared. Um, so I think you guys should have a conversation because I think you guys could really get some good partnerships going with them. Yeah, you'll have to uh, shoot me an email with uh, with what that is because I am not familiar with, uh, okay. with that one. So yeah, that, that sounds super. Any any time that we can partner with somebody that trying to collect data for the good of a species and, and better understand, you know, like what, what lakes are producing more walleyes, bigger walleyes, faster growing walleyes, you know, whatever the species is, that's, that's always really cool stuff that, um, at the end of the day, that, that is what we want to do with fish is provide the end user rich data all in one place. So that way they don't have to go scouring .gov sites to find, all this information that's out there and exists for the public, but is just really hard to navigate. Yeah, no, I'll I'll, uh, I'll send you an email next week, and I'll I'll send you the contact info, and when you get back, you can call them. Awesome. Yep. All right, buddy. Listen, it's always uh, it always goes quick when we have you on here. Thank you for the partnership. It's it's just great to be partnered with Onyx, and I appreciate you yourself and your family. And if you need anything, let me know and send me some musky picks. Yeah, likewise, Dan, I appreciate you having me on. Godspeed with the uh, the Achilles recovery, and hopefully you can slip out on October 1st and get one in Iowa so you can focus on Wisconsin and Missouri, my friend. I'll, uh, I'll do my best, my buddy. Uh, hey, listen, let me know if you need anything. I've already texted you Jeff's info and Skip's phone number, so you give, him, give Skip a holler, okay? My man, well, you have a great weekend, and uh, for all you listening, enjoy it out there, and make sure you put the hunt app to work for you. All right. Thank you, buddy. Good luck fishing. Thanks. Yeah. There he goes, Jared Larson, everybody. Nice young man right there. He's a good fella. The 832 and some change. I'll be right back on 1350 ESPN. Heading on your next adventure and looking for some snacks to take? Why not pack a snack that tastes great, gives you protein, and is easy to pack? Have you heard of Soldier Boy Beef Jerky? Soldier Boy Jerky is slow smoked in small batches to ensure generous, tender morsels that taste outstanding. Soldier Boy Beef Jerky offers the following: I like Soldier Boy, good stuff. Maple or pepper flavors. You know, I never did hear that back will from satisfy Jacob. you all day in the field. 
Soldier Boy Beef Jerky is veteran right. owned and proud supporters of the Canines for Warrior Foundation. They also donate to troops that are deployed serving our country. So next time you're looking for snacks from home or on your next outdoor adventure, please remember to reach for some Soldier Boy Beef Jerky available at Sportsman's Warehouse. Soldier Boy Beef Jerky, outstanding taste that keeps you satisfied in the field. For more information, please check us out online at www.sbjerky.com. You're heading out on your morning hunt well before sunrise, so you can stay undetected from that giant you've been chasing all season. Wouldn't it be nice to know exactly where your stand or blind location is without letting anyone know where you're at walking in? Have you ever heard of Onyx? Onyx is one of the most important pieces of hunting gear that you can use and always have with you. The Onyx Hunt app allows you not only to get from your truck to your hunting spots, it also allows you to mark and save your parking spots, scrapes, food plots, rub lines, or some possible next stand locations. The Onyx Hunt app is also a great way to see your property and know where you stand. Onyx is a mobile app that you can take anywhere. It's recognized by game wardens all around the country as a valuable hunting tool. So, if you want to always know where you are and have the ability to save information that will help you be a better hunter, Go download the Onyx Hunt app at your app store today. Are you into hunting, fishing, camping, or tailgating? If you are, we'd like to introduce you to Arctic Ice. Arctic Ice is a brand new way to keep your game, beverages, and camping supplies cold and fresh wherever you're You're welcome, Joe. Arctic Ice Packs are a rugged ice substitute oh, I think that this maintains is low temperature really longer cool. than a bag of ice and does not have the slushy mess that can contaminate what's in your cooler. If you like to hunt or fish, look at the Alaskan Series or Arctic Ice Packs that will keep your game or fish at 34 degrees for three to four days. If you're wanting to really freeze things up, try the Tundra Packs that can keep your wild game and fish at dry ice temperatures for the travel back home. For tailgating, All right, 244-1350 if you live in Iowa. If you want to come and grab some of this pure whitetail. Did we already give Did we already give both of them away? 244-1350. Call Andrew and tell him you want to be in trivia for the pure whitetail. Or at we give that away. Have you ever been out hunting and starting to do the hard work of breaking down that game you just tagged? Mm-hmm. Only to have your knife fail after huh? you just tried to take the hide off to quarter the animal? Well, let yeah, me tell Pete you was about the first a knife one, that so was that the only one we gave away? That's uh, Weeby Knives. It's quickly yeah. becoming the yeah. go-to well, outdoor yeah. knife in the so industry. There'd be three and three. Hey, it's Outdoors Day, and I want to tell you about the most functional set of outdoor knives I've came across in a while. Weeby Knives. Have trouble keeping an edge on a knife? Go check out WeebyKnives.com. Replace the Love Weeby Knives. Sure Weeby Knives, my baby. <laughs> I have a Weeby Knife in my tackle box and my backpack. That way I know I'm covered no matter what job I need to do, and it's going to be done the right way. From turkey hunting to deer hunting, trapping to camping, Weeby Knives are my go-to in the field. Don't believe me? I'm Ronnie Adams from History Channel Swamp People, and when I want a sharp knife, I'll reach for Weeby Knives. You heard me? We be nice, wicked shot, my baby. Now yep. that's a knife. Get your we be nice, wicked shot, my baby. Outdoors Dan sent you. This is the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on Du Bois Sports Leader, 1350 ESPN. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. 244-1350, 244-1350. All right, got some pure whitetail stuff. We got one more package to give away for you to use for uh, either putting your mock scrapes out or... Getting that, getting that uh, deer decoy, or use it for your hunting. I, you know, here's another thing too. Whenever I'm in my tree stand or my ground blind, I always put stuff out ahead of me uh, at at twelve o'clock, nine o'clock, and three o'clock. So if you think of a clock, you're looking at your stand. Um, I try to put stuff out on trails in those areas because if a deer comes in. They're going to stop and give and sniff that and, you know, check it out. And that'll give you an opportunity to get drawn on your, on your deer. So I've been doing that for years. Used to, well, a long time ago, I used to take little 35 millimeter film canisters and stuff them with cotton. And then I'd drill out little holes and then I'd put the liquid deer lure in that. And then I would put that at 12, uh, 12, nine, 12, three, six, nine. And that way I had a bit of if I'm hunting a ground blind, I just want to put it in front of me. I don't want to put it behind me. But this stuff's awesome. So if you haven't won in the last 30 days, 244-1350, 244-1350, and uh, we'll get you on. Did, we, did you give away 
a winner, Andrew? Yeah, try and do. Oh, did did they know the answer? Yeah. You did? Okay, never mind. We already got a winner. So, how about that? <laughs> I'm sitting there trying to do it, and it's F-Quick. I used to use... Uh, there you go, Jeffy. Just got off the phone with Gearhead about a bow. Going to try to meet him at Illinois Deer. There you go, Larry. Congratulations, buddy. Awesome. Larry's going to be a Gearhead member. I like that. Woo! I feel I can... I can. We did our job today. We got another person in shooting a Gearhead. That's awesome. Man, I, we got... Uh, oh, I, I need to do the uh, Carl Chevrolet... Uh, it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah, you're... Yeah, do you have uh, Joe's music? I need to do Joe's thing. Yeah. So, Andrew's over there talking. I, I hey, Jonathan, good morning, buddy. So, uh, anyway, I'm just waiting for, hang on. I got to, Andrew's trying to do five things at once here. Yeah. You know, there you go. All right, it's time to head over to Carl's Chevrolet and talk to our buddy Joe Smeltzer. It's time for the Joe Smelter Carl Chevrolet Truck Report, brought to you by Carl Chevrolet. Hey, Joe, what's going on this morning, buddy? Joe, you there? Hey, I'm here, Dan. Joe, what's the matter? You sound a little aged this morning. Well, I got, I got taken out by a semi. <laughs> Joe, what are you doing, man? You know what? I shouldn't do that. Our buddy Joe Smelter was in a he got he got in a bad he got in a bad uh, accident yesterday so I, I that's something we should not we should not have fun with. so Joe's okay he's all bruised up he uh, he's hurting so I want you to do me a favor I want you to be keep Joe in your prayers because if we I, I tell you what seriously if something would have happened to Smelter I'd been beside myself I love that kid so if you uh, if you get a chance. Go over to Carl Chevrolet next week and tell him he's glad he's okay. He survived the wreck. And uh, don't tell him I did the old man voice at first. So, so anyway. All right, but just go see Joe. He'll save you a lot of money. I just uh, I had to get another vehicle the other day. He wants me to shoot one. There you go, Larry. See? I, I think that's awesome. Uh, if you shoot it, Larry, you're going to want to buy it. I'm telling you. There you go. All right. You too. Yeah. I'm just I'm just listening to Andrew. I know I love it too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Are you off the phone now? Yes. You and that phone, man. I'm giving you an egg timer for Christmas. Do you get? You're not going to get a <laughs> no. Christmas bonus this year. You're going to get an egg timer. Yeah, egg timer. And when you're on you're on the phone, you're going to have thirty seconds, not five minutes. You know, thirty it's seconds. Always nice that I. You talk to anyone who has called in here. They appreciate. That it's not just a robotic voice from Dan give, talking to them. That they get to, you know, because, one, if they're not going to talk to you, they want to talk to somebody. They're more than welcome to come on there and talk to me anytime. I think we should go back to that format. I, I you know, I don't know why you're not doing that. I, <laughs> it's I know why, because you want to have a five, ten minute conversation. Hey, That's wh why. While we don't have that set up right now, I thought, man, you know what? Who, um, who won, by the way? Rick. Okay, there you go, Rick. Rick, I, yeah. we haven't heard of, I haven't heard from him in a while, and then that's because he's, he's saving up for socks. Hey, you know what? Yeah, we appreciate Andrew fishing. Dave says, yeah, he doesn't need any more encouragement. Dave, <laughs> keep it coming. All right, it's Joe Smelter. So go get feeling better, Joe. We love you. I started doing the old man voice, and I said, you know, I shouldn't do that because he just he was in a bad wreck. Yeah, <clears> although <throat> you could do like a Rastafarian kind of thing here. Oh, what? You tried to do that a couple weeks What's ago. What's a Rastafari? Rastafari, you know, like uh, what Jamaican the accent kind of thing. No. no. He was, <laughs> I just had a nice chat with Andrew. I know, Rick. He's not supposed to be having nice chats. It's, it was a good yeah, chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Not a problem. 8.42 and some change here on the show. Dr. Scott, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yegi. See, you know the thing I love about Yiggy? He said Andrew wasn't very talkative. I said, well, you probably were taking his, yomping his tooth out. You know, that's the only time Andrew doesn't like to talk is when he's got Yiggy's fingers in his mouth. Well, yeah. You know, <laughs> I want him to do his, do his work. Right. And he, he, magic, by the way. Anyway, uh, Dr. Scott, Dr. Scott Obi-Wan Kenobi Yiggy said they've been very busy at Advanced Family Dentistry. Been super 
uh, super busy taking care of everybody, Dr. Stewart, Dr. Brandt, Dr. Wims. Hey, next time you go there, ask them about uh, this new uh, group thing they got going on um, as far as uh, cutting costs and stuff. It's, 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 it's like a dental insurance, but it's not. But anyway, ask them about it when you go there. 907 North Ankeny Boulevard in Ankeny, Iowa. If you need an appointment, if you're new to the area or just looking for a new dentist, I want you to go see my friend, Dr. Scott Obi-Wan Kenobi Yagi. 964-1490, 964-1490. Some of the best dentists I've ever been to in my life. They will take great care of you. They don't hurt you. They care about you. They're kind. And that's what I'm looking for in a dentist at Advanced Family Dentistry. May the force be with you. No, the floss. May the force. Floss. 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 The floss will be with you. Please. Always. Yeah, whatever. All right, 843 and some change. I'll be right back on 1350 ESPN. Heading to your favorite outdoor spot. Is your hunting, fishing, or utility knife ready for any task? Well, if you use the original WorkSharp knife and tool sharpener before you left, you bet they are. The WorkSharp knife and tool sharpener is designed to sharpen every knife you own. By using changeable, flexible, abrasive belts... The sharpening system is able to sharpen a variety of knives, including curved and serrated knives, tonto blades, fillet knives, gut hooks, axes, and even kitchen knives. Ugh. The WorkSharp knife and tool sharpener does this with precision angle sharpening guides and flexible abrasive belts to ensure the proper 20 degree angle every time. Man, we're Each getting close to deer season. Sharpener is assembled in the USA I'm, by a family owned I'm starting to feel company. it. Customer I'm starting to feel it going through my veins. So if you love the outdoors and depend I'm starting on to feel knife, it, man. Consider checking out one of the WorkSharp knife and tool sharpeners or the WorkSharp guided field sharpener at a store near you or anytime yeah. at yeah. WorkSharpTools.com. Yeah. That's WorkSharp I don't know about you, but it, whenever, you like, in the summer season? when I go out well, and put cameras up, and now the time is uh, do you ever close. crawl up in your deer stand just to sit in your stand for a second or two? Game. Socks. Yeah, we're going to be doing socks well, next week, Ricky. I, I I don't know I don't know what it is, but like when we put when I go put mock scrapes out or uh, change straps, I'll sit in my stand and I'll just sit there and I'll be look, I'll look over and I can just visualize in my mind in that in that cr that cornfield or that cr on that bean field the deer coming in coming through the trails come, seeing the seeing the corn stalk shake as the bucks are coming through. I mean, it just it just goes through my mind, and it's just like it's just a cool feeling, man. I'm just telling you, it it just I've always been ate up that way. I don't know why, why or what, but I can't be the only one who has that go through their mind, and it's just such a cool feeling. It's just it, it energizes your soul. It just it just keeps you going until October. Well, let's talk about a bait system that helps I love folks it. catch I love it. fish and is made in Minnesota where they know bait fishing. Caddy. The Bait Caddy bait is an amazing that's what she bait said. system that you can use for open water fishing or ice fishing that keeps your minnows, leeches, shiners, and bait fresh while you fish. The Bait Caddy has a clear UV-resistant housing that lets you see your bait at all times. Mm. Its large lid allows easy access to your bait and keeps it handy and flush in 8 to 10 inch ice holes. No loose parts, it's self-filling, then it floats. Plus, it's made not to crack, warp, or fade. The bait caddy will fit in your live well or troll easy alongside right. your boat, and it's made in the USA. The bait caddy has a lifetime warranty. There you go, Jonathan. The bait system your friends will want. For more information, please go online to www.baitcaddy.com. The bait caddy easy access to your bait, made in Minnesota, and keeps your bait fresh all day. Hi, this is Dr. Don Gilbert from New Life Counseling Services. With Jenny just texted me West something that's pretty funny. Iowa. I know things can be tough in the world today. I see it every day. People dealing with relationship <laughs> issues, that, yeah. parenting struggles, anxiety, <laughs> depression, or folks just looking for a new direction or plan in their life. If you find yourself struggling and are looking for someone to help you find answers to a better relationship, a marriage, or just helping with everyday stress, please consider calling me at New Life. We offer a family-friendly, straightforward approach to helping you to get through the layers of stress that can be harmful to your health, relationships, and your work. The staff at New Life offer one-on-one -on -one sessions that get right to the heart of the matter. We work with you so you can discover better choices on how to handle the issues you might be dealing with in your life. When you're looking for someone to listen to you, we're here. Please consider calling us for a confidential appointment at New Life, 515-225-4006 in West Des Moines or 964-5003 in Ankeny. Also find us 24-7 at newlifecounseling.com. 
We are here to help you when you need us. You're listening to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. Ken, I already talked about that. Where were you at? All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio, 847 and some change here on the show. So they just did a bunch of road work in front of the house. And, uh, you know, I've told you that uh, for, for years people are flying down our street you know, do, it's a 30 mile an hour zone and they're doing 50, 60, 70 miles an hour. It's ridiculous. Well, the city finally had enough and they put a ramp like a, like a, uh, it's not really a speed bump. It's like a ramp. That's like this, Andrew. It's, it's like, I mean, and they, uh, they opened the street yesterday and I've got a new hobby now. It's sitting on the back deck, watching people do 40, 50 miles an hour and they hit that bump. And their vehicle goes about a foot off the ground, and they bottom their car out on the street. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, I, I want to make up these little signs that say like 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then, you know, when they tear their car up because they're speeding, and they hit, they bottom out, you know, hold up, well, that was a 9. Or, you know, you know. yeah, yeah I mean, I, I think I've come up with a new residential sport. You know what? I, I would join you in that. I, I would come over. You know, it's like, I do the speed that. limit, you morons. You know, I, I, Raven was out last night. This guy, he was in a, I don't, it was in a little compact car. And he was flying down the street, you know. And he hit that, and I swear he was a foot and a half off the ground. Good for him. And he just hit the, he hit the street bottom. He tore the crud out of his car. Good and then him. he locks him up and stops. And I could see him, you know, what ha- what just happened. It's like. You know what? I don't feel sorry for you. I'm shocked no little kid has gotten killed there because they come over that little hill and they're, you know, they're, do, they're, they're doing way too much. And they, then they put the dividers in the street too. So now that you're not, you know, you can't fly up and, you know, can't go around. They, they, there's a divider there. Yep. So I, I want to thank the city of Des Moines for doing that because it, it's probably going to save some little kid's life. Yeah. And honestly... Let's be honest. If you can't read the road and read the signs, yeah, maybe you shouldn't be driving. I don't think you know half. You know, the, you know no offense to anybody, I but that. I think half the people driving don't have driver's licenses and they shouldn't be driving. Or better yet, half of them do and sh- just shouldn't. Yeah, I the last two times I, I got I got t boned. Uh, this lady uh, last time I was I got in an accident. She t boned me. That was her third accident. She had no insurance. And the police didn't even write her a ticket. It's like, why aren't you writing her a ticket? And he got mad at me. The cop got mad at me. That's I go. You know what? I'm out of truck here, and I'm, I've I've got, and I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'm not uh, going to the hospital. And you're getting, you're taking exception because I don't want them to get a ticket. I want them to get a ticket. That's the that's the least that they should get. I have no patience for people that like that anymore. Yeah. I'm sorry. If you don't have enough respect for your fellow neighbor and uh, citizen, you know, I got I got issues with that. Yeah. We need one here. Yeah, Rick. I'm telling you, it's bad everywhere, man. I mean, people just don't care anymore. It's just crazy. All right. So uh, listen on Wednesday. Uh, I will. Uh, I'll tell you how you can win uh, that chance at the Ugly Buck. The win the Larry win Larry McCoy's Buck contest. <laughs> he told me I could do that, didn't he? Did he say yes? Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't can't remember. remember. I don't remember him saying no. Jinx, you owe me a soda, by the way. Why is that? We said don't remember at the same time. I don't owe you nothing. You know that's the that's the uh, it's the law of like everything. Man. Yeah. No, you're Jinx. I, you know what? Like, you got to raise this year. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, thanks to Jared for coming on today. Uh, I just got an email from Jake. He apologizes, everybody. He left his phone at work by accident. That's all right, Jake. No worries. Uh, Fish and Dave says, laughing out loud, get some video. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, It's even Jenny's having fun with it because we're, we're just, we've had 11 people dri- at, ride through our yard because they're speeding and they missed the little, they missed the little turn. And they've taken out our trees and everything else. So I put landscape boulders in. And ever since I've done that, we've had one. After one person hit the boulders, nobody's hit it after that. Yeah, because you don't want to do that. No. Yeah. And what's bad about it, they'll tear your trees out and they don't even stop or nothing. They take off because they don't want to They don't want to pay you for the damage. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Sorry, folks. I've had enough. I'm a grumpy old man. Well, I'm a grumpy old man that likes to hunt and fish, but I love my neighbor. I love my neighbors. 
Yes. Yeah, he, I, he did. I, Jeff says he didn't say no. Larry did not say no. Scotty says good morning. Good morning, Dan. Hey, Hoyt. Good morning. Sir, that begs the question: what? Is not saying no the same as saying yes? I think so. You know what? What's it, what's he going to do? Is what's he going to is, is he going to get mad at me? I mean, I mean, he probably will because that's his lucky buck decoy. Well, if it's in your possession, though. Yeah. Well, hey, you should have. You know, he shouldn't have had me go pick it up. Uh, you know, it, hey. It's a conundrum, right? I can always give him mine. What is that? He's probably don't want here? mine though, because I don't want yours. I want mine that I've killed all these booners with. Yeah. Well, go get you another one of there, big boy. I'm sure he'd love to hear you talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> that accent at all? <laughs> what well, rules? Yeah, I'm telling you, it's just crazy. I found out what was wrong with my truck when Joe called me and told me he got in that wreck yesterday. My engine was my engine shut down. It was gone. They had to replace the engine. I am really lucky I made it back from Minnesota before that truck engine went out. Uh, literally got off the lawn guy. Got off got off my lawn guy. Everything will work out. Well, absolutely everything's gonna work out. God's It'll in control. Be all right. I'm not worried about it at the end, Hoyt. God's it's got a, God's got a, God's got it covered, man. It's all McConaughey from there. Yeah. What? You know McConaughey, the all right, all right, all right. I this have no idea what you're talking about. Dan. What? Get cultured. I've got culture. I, I like uh, blueberry yogurt and apple yogurt. <laughs> 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 that was funny. I don't care who you are right there. That was that was sharp in time and funny. Uh, funny. Uh, Man, that was funny. Come on, man. Uh, I hear you. So I got got the big football draft tonight. I don't know. I'm I'm picking third. You know what? Uh, and then our draft, the outdoor call, the outdoors Dan outdoor call, big draft is in two weeks. Yep. Hey, you know, kickers are a dime less than this dozen. is. This is something I've never done before. It's a super flex league. Yeah. So you can get. I mean, let's be realistic. Yeah. Super flex, two quarterbacks. Uh, two or three. You're going to need two or three, yeah. Because, I mean, you're not going to send out a second kicker, let's be honest. Yeah, Rick says he's got big rocks. Quit bragging, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you know, I, I just don't understand. I, I just don't understand the, the total concept, but I'll figure it out tonight. So. You'll get there. Kickers are great. Uh, you know, I need to have a garage sale, man. i got to get some of my stuff out of my garage. You do. I gave Rick a pair of boots yesterday, or Richard. Richard. Richard, for coming over and helping me. I gave him some Itasca hunting boots. Uh, hey, don't buy, excuse me, don't buy any socks for the next week or two. We're going to be doing a Norlander sock contest. Uh, so please wait for that because you're going to get a chance at a $120-something pair of hunting boots. All right? I'm going to do that several times here in the next couple weeks. So you should see the Shenandoah River. It's definitely, I, a hundred, a Hoyt, I know you guys are getting a lot of, a lot of that Debbie that Debbie storms out there, so I'm sorry. All right. Anything else? Debbies. Are we good? You know, I think so. So we'll be back right. next week. If you're going to the fair, be safe. Have fun. Go see Speed. <laughs> Speed's got the cookie, uh, the, rib, the rib wagon out there. He'd love to wagon. see you. Yeah, the cookie mobile. He would love to see you. Tell him hi. He, he's like the mayor of the, of the fair. Might as well be. Yeah, everybody wants to see Speed. You think I'd get a golf cart ride if I asked? Uh, if you went out there. Are you going out there? Uh, a, a couple times throughout the fair. Are which, you? Which you should. I'm not going. Hey, Dan, you know what? It'd be a good thing. I went uh, I went last year to see Speedy. You know, unless Larry and Ryan come up. I think they're come, They're supposed to come up and do some filming or something. But um, I, I'm too busy, man. I got deer stands to go f- replace. And get, I got some cameras to come out. I got some fishing to do. Cookies to eat. Yeah, but I'm busy. Hunting season's <laughs> going to be here before you know it. And plus, I got to do the show on Wednesday. What's yeah. wait for the new socks? We went we went by and got our sauce. He wasn't there next week. All right, Rick, thank you. All right, I gotta go, everybody. God bless you. Hey, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. We we here at the Outdoor Call Radio appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you for following us for the last twenty six years. It means everything to us. Thank you for helping with our partners. Thank you for everybody that's uh responsored the show for helping us communicate about the outdoors. 
And we hope this season the hunting and fishing is the best it's ever been for you. We'll talk to you next week. If you haven't downloaded the Outdoor Call Radio app, please do it on your on your phone device store. It's free, and you just might win something. We'll see you later, everybody. Bye. All right, gang, I got to run. You be good. I'll talk to you on Wednesday. If you got questions, you need something, get a, get a hold of me on social. Talk to you later, and have a wonderful day. Bye.